That's an interesting story. Sorry to hear about the whole choking thing. Uh, all right, let's get to Sasha. Russian in LA, boss lady. Yeah, here I am. <laughs> Pansexual fuck toy is your username on. Uh, you said porn saved you from drugs but killed your soul. Yeah. Uh, so you used to do substances. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you said corn, uh, excuse me, corn is rotten. And you just took a decision to leave it a couple days ago, a week, 10 days ago, was it? Yeah, there's a... You stopped? You can see in Twitter, yeah. You stopped? I quit. Like traditional corn or like OF stuff too? Or are you mm. going to keep doing OF? Solo OF, I keep... You'll keep doing the solo stuff, but you're, you, you, you did... I quit mainstream porn. How I many quit shooting for the how many, productions. Yeah, how many scenes did you do? Over 100. Over 100. What, uh, have you ever done like... Two, two guys? I did many gangbangs. Many, many gangbangs. Of oh. course. I'm a specialist on... <laughs> You're a specialist. Uh, she's a gangbang specialist. Okay. <laughs> no, no, no. There's different niche, but that one yeah. also. Um, how many, how many gangbangs did you partake in? Um, I don't know. I, when you work in Prague, you're not counting. You don't count. Like... Do you think more than 50? More gang than... Gangbang? No, 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 no. 20, 30? Maybe... 20. 20, 20. What's the biggest amount of the dudes? Yeah, uh, yeah the most amount mm, of. This never was too much. Was max maybe seven. Not too much. Yeah, not too much. Not, not too, too much. much. <laughs> like you know, like just a little a reasonable, <laughs> reasonable. <laughs> no, it's an average Wednesday. No, twenty. It's like what's, it's <laughs> sorry. Twenty dudes. That yeah. Wait. Oh, there was a twenty. Never. No, that, never. That 20. can be fun. Yeah. I see. <laughs> okay. Did you th did you ever see yourself going as high as eight one day? Sorry? Did you ever see yourself going as high as eight one day from seven? I quit porn. Yeah, I know. That's not what I'm asking. Eight's too when, much. when you did, Eight's stupid. did you ever think you would build yourself up to eight? But you don't, it, it, you don't care. That doesn't matter. During the gangbang, it doesn't matter. You can bring one more dude, one more dude, one more dude. It doesn't matter because mm. all your holes should be always filled with something. <laughs> so it doesn't matter. They can change like one, then another. The director just always screaming like, all the holes mm. should be over here. No, no, no. And it doesn't matter how many dudes is around. Even if it's only three dudes, your holes are going to be always be filled. You the know? Hole, the holes? what? Wait, holes? I just holes, yeah, mouse, pussy, ass, all wait, the holes. Double, <laughs> wait, have you ever had <laughs> double? My niche is double anal penetration. Huh? Is that why One. you have the tattoo that says ass slut? Anal slut. Anal slut anal is the slut. tattoo. My bad. <laughs> Get it right, Andrew. Yeah. Uh, um, what was I thinking? Do you have any other cool tattoos? Yeah, next to my butthole, it say insert, <laughs> insert here. <laughs> 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 it's like for the coin, you know, it's like inside here. Yeah. <laughs> like on the Coca Cola machine before, you know. Like super Ultra D Gen 9000. <laughs> 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 what the? It's a direction for these dumb guys, you know. <laughs> Damn, yeah. that's crazy. Yeah, they know they can't figure it out, with dummies. <laughs> That's that's uh, that's that's interesting. Oh, that's um, interesting. Okay, all right. Well, uh, okay, so all right. You um, so porn is rotten. Rotten. Yeah. yeah, and as soon as I left it, I find out about you guys, mm -hmm. and I was like, mm, very interesting, mm. because as soon as you're inside the porn industry, you kind of blind, probably with money and fame, and as soon as you're out, it's like ah. Okay. Mm. During these three years, I saw so many girls living mainstream porn. Some of them on the, like, right when they just reached the Olymp, you know? And it was so confusing to me. I was like, are you crazy? Why are you living mainstream? But only now I understood. Can I ask why. you a couple of questions? Sure. Uh, did you have a recent conversion to Christianity? Of course. Of course you did. Okay, so. I'm not Christianity. No, no, no. no because what? I just believed in, I believed on God. I find out the mm -hmm. God in my life. Yeah. Of course. It happens uh, in this. So, uh, so did you have a recent conversion, spiritual conversion? Yeah, of course. It happens in the same hour. The well, same hour you quit? Yeah, I was. Mm, yes, yeah. it was like that. Mm -hmm. I was about to jump out the window <laughs> and I write on the paper I say, what I want to do. 
I write it so fast before I jump. I write, I write, I write, and on the top, I write, God will give you the answer. And I write the start of the Jew, because I'm a Jewish. Mm -hmm. And then all the psychosis started, and I couldn't understand what happening. And then I ran to the mirror in the restroom, because I was so worried that I'm gonna jump now. Because it's just like, was head inside, uh, sound inside me, jump, mm -hmm. jump, 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 jump. And I could not find the remove control to turn off the Netflix, because I never can find the remove control. So I ran to the shower, and I look at straight Saved by your lack of understanding the technology. Mirror. <laughs> look at on the mirror and there was a um, um, eyeliner and I draw on the mirror start of the David and I just look so deep inside and I was like oh yeah of course quit porn and the answer was just like 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 a God touched me into the mic into That's the mic how I felt. into the mic into the mic <coughs> like a God touched me a this spirit for a spiritual awakening Yes, it was exactly mm -hmm. like that. How come God didn't tell you to quit OnlyFans too? Oh, I hope I will soon. Yeah, I, I know, but how come he didn't tell you to do that too? <coughs> I hope I will quit OnlyFans. Yeah, I know, Only but how come, uh, why do you think he didn't tell you to do that too? Um, we have this conversation with God one year and two months ago when I visited Jerusalem for the first time in my life. Mm -hmm. And I promised to him that I'm going to stop to do escorting. Okay. And I say to myself, but porn is different, you know? So that's how I've been thinking. Yeah, I know, um, but, but my question is... Yeah, yeah I, I hear what you say. Yeah, why do you think so that, that... I quit this yeah. court, now I quit porn. And of course, I would like to also quit so why masturbating don't you? on comedy. Yeah, so why don't you do that? I need money to survive. Oh, okay, right. I'm, I'm sorry. You can't survive any other way than to masturbate on a camera? I think I can. Oh, well, then why don't you do that? If God is speaking to you and I'm telling you to way. stop doing that, why... I'm on why? my way. Well, what does that mean? What does that mean, I'm on my way? Trying to find a way to make like, imagine money. for a second I said, I had a revelation from God to stop doing this sinful behavior. Let's say in this case, murdering. And you're like, hey, have you stopped murdering yet? And I'm like, I'm on my way. I'm going to get to, I'm going to, listen, I'm trying my hardest to stop, absolutely. trying my hardest to stop murdering. I really am. Okay, I'm on my way to doing it. Bro, Wouldn't okay. it be better to just stop doing All it? All the questions that you're asking me now, I've been going through to them for last months. All this conversation with guys and keep mm -hmm. speaking and trying to find what is a really scene, what is makes me feel like I'm a sinner. So during the older months, I'm going, and I find out that uh, that this scene is it's when I allowed that man touch me if I don't want he touch me. Yeah. Okay. But you, I mean, the the whole <laughs> idea here of you doing corn. Is allowing men to touch you for money. Exactly, exactly. That's why I quit it. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. Uh, so, so only I fi solo only fans. So I want to make sure. So I want to hang on. I want to make sure I get this right. Mm -hmm. Your great revelation was not that se that selling sex is wrong. It's that allowing men to touch oh, you. Of course, I'm a porn producer as well. Of course, I'm gonna keep selling porn. Come on, I have my own production. So then, what was the revelation? It's just about that. I so don't wait. Want so wait. Hang on. Hang on. So your revelation from God was stop allowing men to have sex with you. But continue to allow Let's other women to allow. I don't really hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me ask the bro. question. Let me ask the question. Yeah. Okay, but so allow so other right. men to have sex with other women, putting them in the exact same situation you were in, and you're going to continue to distribute that. Okay, bro. I don't really care about others. Yeah, I know. I know you don't really care about others, but I, I would like an answer to my question. Mm -hmm. Here's my question again. Okay. Listen to what I'm asking. Okay. So it's okay for you. God told you stop it. Stop doing that. Stop letting these men exploit you. It wasn't like that. No, he just gave me the idea. How okay, so he gave you the idea, right? So why would you then go on to be a distributor of pornography, putting other women in the exact same position that you found yourself in when you were about to off yourself? Okay, okay, what is the question? That's the question. Why would you continue to do that knowing that you're putting other women in the exact same situation that makes them want to off themselves that you were in? I'm giving you the answer because well. I don't care about other women. <laughs> you only care about you? Yes. Yeah. Have you, do you know what solipsism is? Mm -hmm. I care only about my happiness <laughs> for the moment. Yeah, you only give a shit about yourself. As soon as I will can help other women, mm -hmm. I can help them to quit oh, porn as well. Oh, well you can help them right now by not distributing pornography that they're involved in. Wouldn't that be helpful? I don't think this will be helpful because Why? there's other porn oh. producers so, as well. So I want, you, I want to make sure I got this right. If I was a murderer, it wouldn't be helpful if I stopped murdering because other people also murder. Why you can keep murdering? Uh, because murdering it's, it's a direct analogy. If I was a murderer, it would, it would not be helpful to society if I stopped murdering because other people also murder. Yeah, it's will, you will, there will be less people killed. 
Yeah, there'd be less people. So in this case, there'd be less people who get get the corn distributed to because you're not distributing it, right? Okay, right. Yeah. So I don't really understand why it's why you're like, okay, well, this is bad for, for me. For the moment, I'm thinking only about me. I will treat my own problems, uh -huh. my own sins. But you said you want to get to a position where you're helping other women, but you could do that right you. this second. You could just stop distributing pornography. I need to make money. I need to pay bills. You don't bills. need to make money doing corn. Why do you need to do that? That's insane. Why do you need to do that? I don't say I need to, I say you I need to make money. You just literally said I need to make money. I need to make money. And this is the way you make money? For the moment, okay, yes. Why do you need to make money that way? It's the only one way I can for the moment. Well, no, it's not the only way you can. You, get a, you can get a thing called a job. You ever heard of one of those? It's where you go in, you punch a clock, you work, you leave. I'm not sure I can get one job. I don't have working permit. <coughs> Yeah, you can get a job. You get an under-the-table job. You I can don't do have anything on planet plan Earth other than uh, selling and distributing pornography. Like that, that, uh, how, how, Give me example. Ever, how could you ever convince another example. human being? Give me an example. I will take it. Yeah, go, go work as an under-the-table secretary. I could literally connect you with YouTubers. You could do secretary work if you stop doing corn tomorrow. What do you mean? There's a million different ways to okay, make money. Okay, cool. Maybe you connect me with someone. Yeah, okay. And then you'll say, but I have to make $25,000 a month or else I just can't afford to live, right? Mm -hmm. No, you don't know. Yeah, me, well, I'm just saying, like, it, do it doesn't make any sense if you say, I need to do this. I must distribute pornography or can't make a living. That's absurd. Of course you can. How do you think everybody else makes a living? Almost nobody sells corn. Oh, I'm 36 years old. I'm sucking dick since I'm uh, for money 21. Since I'm 21. Yeah, uh, I mean, you should have done that. I don't yeah. have education. Yeah, sucking, yeah, yeah. Sucking dick when you're 21 is not a good idea. I, I agree. don't have education. Uh -huh. um, yeah, I it's going to be an entry level job. job it's good. Like, it, like it's going to be rough. Yeah, I agree. I don't it's know be what rough. this normal job is. Yep, yeah, it's, it's going to be rough. Did. The money's not going to be easy. It's going to be harder. And I'm not money. planning to go to normal job. I have a different plans. Oh really? And does that involve distributing pornography? No, a YouTube channel. No, is that's not what that's not. It's you're going to be a big YouTube star. Not a, not particularly big. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so your plan is to stay in media. No media stars. Yeah, mm -hmm. this is a plan to switch from the porn. And you're going to help other fans. women. Let me guess. You're going to go on tour and help other women who are struggling with the same struggles you struggled with, right? You're going to lead them to the primrose promised land, aren't you? You're going to help them get out of this industry. It's so when you're you when you're distributing the same pornography right right now saying I need the money then you're gonna move out into the I'm gonna help you get out of this industry that I'm currently supporting even right now right is that I don't get your question there's the no question like that's the plan is that the plan no this is not the plan what's the plan for tomorrow or uh. for the week or for the months be more particular with your for question. the next six months for the next for the half next year yeah um, half year yeah mm, I don't go that far three months okay what's the plan for the next three months Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Concentrating on my solo content. Oh, okay. So you do more corn. Uh, probably start a YouTube show. Mm -hmm. Talking about how bad corn is, right? No, I would like to do a um, show with cancelled people. Yeah, no. Are you going to talk about how bad corn is? No, with cancelled people. Cancelled people? Yeah, people who just got cancelled. Do you know what this means? Get cancelled. Yeah, cancelled for what? Porn and showbiz. <laughs> Wait, they got canceled. How? I don't. How people get canceled in showbiz? You don't know how no, people get canceled. No, not for porn. I, I've never heard There's of so somebody many getting, getting canceled in porn. Like every goddamn man, they almost try to cancel me. Cancel you for what? For saying bad stuff online. Oh, okay. So you're gonna preach against the corn industry? Yes. Oh, okay. While you're doing corn. Whenever, let's oh, say okay, like that, yeah, okay. yeah. So while you're doing corn, you're gonna start a YouTube channel talking about how you were almost canceled because you spoke out about how I'm bad corn was. I'm already speaking shit about porn. Mm -hmm. all while around. you're doing it, yes. Yeah. Okay. And mm -hmm. can I? Yeah, can I don't. I don't understand the consistency there. There's no consistency. I, yeah, just I agree. Do it there's no consistency. It makes no sense. It's like, I like me that saying, you try oh, to okay, find all the sense in everything, but sometimes there's no sense. Sometimes no, there's you just no sense. Go with the flow, you know. Yeah, go with the flow, right? Yeah, hey, keep distributing the co same corn that almost made you commit suicide, and then on top of that, after all that is done, no, right OnlyFans never makes me I'm suicide. Start, you crazy? I'm gonna, that's only what you just said. Porn makes me almost fucking get kill myself. Yeah, working no, for production. You, you don't know what it means to work in for production, okay? You never been there in the middle of the stage, so you don't know what. What does mean. that have to do and with anything? And how much it's killing you? It's killing your you soul. You still literally. distribute the content. You said yourself. It's not killing your soul. Why when do you selling distribute? Content in only why fans. do you distribute that content? 
Why do you distribute it? Because I need money. Right. So you don't care about killing your soul. You don't care about any of that. You're full of shit. Okay. All you want is my money. And if you can get a YouTube channel where you can go well, sell. How you know what oh, I hey, care the about the and what I don't industry. care about? You're not inside my head. You literally you just said I don't care about anybody but me. Of course, because first of all, I need to fix myself, and then I will fix the others. Well, what okay? Do you do try to How get I can fix that bitches if I'm all like that? You, I don't Shaking, know. You're the okay? one who wants to have a YouTube channel where you're fixing the corn industry that you're currently distributing. I'm not gonna fix the core porn industry. I'm gonna speak about porn, about canceled uh -huh. people. Yeah, about how bad it is. Get it? About how bad it is. Yes. Why are you distributing it? Okay. okay. And. Yeah. And <laughs> okay, I just want to make sure. So I can't speak bad about porn while I'm selling my content on OnlyFans. That's what you want to tell me. Well, I don't know. Me. Or I am I obliged to quit OnlyFans and I only then I can start? Yeah, okay. Can't Here. start bad mm -hmm. about porn, right? Yeah, so well, I have I to. Yeah, I, don't I think understand I think the it difference. would be I think it would be wise. Yeah, probably for you to stop distributing pornography. And only after I can start how bad it is. Yeah. No, I can do whenever I want and you when can. I want. You okay? can. You can't. Do you think people are gonna see you as some somebody who has a consistent? Do you think I view? care what they think about me? Well, I do. I do. If you think you're gonna have a YouTube channel, right? I have a YouTube channel. And, and, and how's it doing? I have so much hate. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you do. I love it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hate is important. It makes you get yeah. better. Yeah, I mean, it just seems seems to me, right? that you would stop distributing the same pornography that puts you in the same situation that you were in where you felt like unaliving yourself before you decide to have a YouTube channel raging about the same industry that you're still currently supporting. Come on, there's no time. And you do whatever you want and when you want, okay? You just like go and mm -hmm. do it. And you don't care about anybody but yourself. Uh, first of all, you have to care of yourself mm -hmm. and only after about the yeah, others. Yeah, but you said, you didn't say that. You said, I don't care about anybody else. For the moment, I don't oh, care so about anyone So when do you think you will else? care about other people? When I will have power. Next Tuesday? Share, Next when Thursday? Will, when I will have power. Oh, when you have power, then you'll care? You don't have the power to care about other people right now? No. Didn't you say you want to speak to people who have been canceled? I want to invite them to the show to make fun of them. Why? Oh, to make fun of them. <laughs> oh, you want to cancel them? Yeah, I oh, want. Oh, you want to be the canceller? Yeah, I want to get the canceller inside my oh. show to make fun of them, trolling them. Oh, the canceller. The people who got cancelled. Well, wait, so you want to talk to the people who are cancelling or the people who got cancelled? The people who got cancelled. Yeah. Okay. I want to invite them to the show. Why? So you can say, ha, 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 about canceled. them. <laughs> so you want to cancel the people that got cancelled? Like double cancel. No, I want to re-cancel them, actually, Re because nobody invite them on a podcast and a show. Nobody. As soon as they get cancelled, people just kind of don't even want to look at them, don't shoot in content with them, nothing. So but I want to know them story, and I want to make a show and invite them and to know them story, and maybe help them to get re-cancelled, because some of the dudes that got cancelled actually did not nothing bad in my perspective but so as perspective of society they did crazy shit do you so make then fun i was like them? why not to open a podcast where i can invite these people and let them speak <laughs> maybe i will troll some of them maybe no depends or maybe you're a kgb spy right <coughs> maybe there could be that maybe i mean you came up from the southern border you apply for asylum by the way, is your asylum in any way dependent on the fact that you do corn or not? If you put that as an occupation, can it hurt your political asylum chances? Okay, I put everything inside my political asylum because they say that they can, uh, um, how to say, they can uh, agree mm -hmm. only if I say truth. Mm -hmm. So could it affect? Could it? Does they, it? Aff they will affect if I will lie. Yeah. So so hang on. So will it will it help your chances of getting granted asylum if you quit doing corn? Will it help your chances of getting it? Depends of the judge. Mm, but it could help, right? Depends of the judge. It could help, right? Now maybe he jerk off on my porn. Yeah, yeah, right. But it could, particularly but this but judge. It, but, it could, but it could help. You know, then it's not going to yeah, help. No, you're you're going to be sad and lie and say, question. Sasha, go back not to the Not answering the question. Could it help? I have no idea. Depends of the you judge. You don't know? It's a human. Yeah, I know it's a human. Could it help? Depends of the human. Yeah, I Depends get that of it's the judge. So, so depending, if he's so gay some judges, or he's straight, we don't know. Okay, do you think that most judges it would be helpful if you said, I no longer do corn, Your Honor? I don't think so. You don't think so? Because guys jerk off a lot. So you're not going to go in front of the and judge? And every judge is jerk yeah, off so a lot. Yeah, so you're not going to go in front of the judge and be like, I quit doing that. <laughs> 
Sorry? You're not going to go in front of the judge and say, I quit doing pornography? I'm not allowed to speak with the judge. My lawyer is going to speak. Okay, so is your lawyer going to go in front of the judge and say, Your, your Honor, she doesn't do pornography anymore? Uh, I will ask him to put it inside my... Yeah, of course, because it'll help your chances for asylum. That's awful convenient. I'm not sure, bro. Yeah, I'm I don't sure. know. I, it's, po it's awful convenient that you decided when you applied for asylum no, to drop the corn, right? Like it's very the, convenient, like isn't it? I like the connection on it. Yeah, yeah I, like I can it. see the connection on it, too. Yeah. I like, but my court is going to be in five years. Years, but okay. Mm -hmm. so unless it's don't, sooner. Don't me, yeah. <laughs> yeah, unless it's sooner, right? <laughs> then it makes sense. Yeah. I see. But no, mine is in five years. We'll see. We don't know that, right? You don't know exactly when it's going to be doing. I have the date. What do you mean? Yeah, I but it could be expedited forward. Yeah, I know. You're right. But I hope it's going to be in five yeah, years. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> say, I got my life together. I don't do this anymore. You should grant me asylum and make me a citizen of this great country, Your Honor, right? No, 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 not like that. If mm. they don't give, I don't really care. If they don't give me asylum, I always can marry someone. It's okay. not a big deal. All right. Hmm. Don't my inquiry there. Hmm. Okay. We have two chats here. Noah R. Thank you, Noah, for the message. The West has <laughs> fallen, gentlemen. The West has fallen. Hmm. Thank you, Noah. Good to see you in the chat, man. We have also Lol Paladins coming in here in just a moment. He sent in a very generous $100 message. Did we ever get uh, Killer of Serials? Uh, mm -hmm. We got his little photo. We got his photo up. The photo? Yeah, when the super chat comes up with it. Oh, no. no. I actually, I think I had to discontinue the photo, but oh. the audio thing is still the same. Okay, Brian and Andrew, how can you hope to compete to hold these girls hostage with substances like caffeine? How dare you <laughs> when what they really want is DP in the A. You need to up your game. What? I don't get it. He's right. He's right. I don't understand. He's right. It's, it's true. You can't, you know, it's very difficult. Uh, holding them hostage with well Brian has been accused multiple like times like of holding women such as yourself who are free to come and go as you please hostage by mm. offering them mm. substances like caffeine yeah. do you want to tell you the truth why I quit porn not only because of the God so you were lying no it's also because of the God nobody wants to shoot me in America yeah I know I, I arrived to America it. one year ago I, I and no, no sure. one production wants to shoot yeah. me yeah. and you know why because they don't like that I speak a lot online so the brothers told me, we will never shoot you if you keep speaking <laughs> so about <laughs> anything <laughs> else yeah. except hey, porn. So let me make sure I got this right. You expected us to believe that you went and you drew. No, uh, bro, on, bro, 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 this is all true, okay? Don't on, say it. I just want to make sure. Don't say it. This is all true. You don't but even know what I'm going to say. I don't even I know fall. what I'm going to say. I fall in the red hole. Comrade, hole. you don't even know what I'm going to say, comrade. <laughs> Calm down, comrade. Let me say my piece. <laughs> you went to mirror and wrote symbol and then God tell you stop porn and it turned out comrade that you actually stop porn because you get canceled by no, porn. No, 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 no. I'm not get, getting canceled. But why all this happens with me? Why I start to losing my mind? It's because because of the porn industry. Yeah, you got because canceled. Of the porn. Because you got canceled. I didn't get canceled. I was, they was planning you to cancel me. You just said nobody's going to shoot you. What is that besides canceled? <laughs> Cancel? If nobody's gonna film you doing corn, no, then that's is canceled. No, officially canceled. What the fuck? Nobody. How do you get officially canceled? What is the official? Oh, is there a court? No, no, Does no. the court officially no, no, get together? No, we have the we have we have the papers. <laughs> I have the agent. Everything. What papers? You sign You the are officially banned from doing corn. There's no, no paperwork for that. What no, are you talking about? No, the paperwork about? to work. I have a paperwork to work for the porn production. Okay. So as soon as I quit porn, I cancel all that. I yeah, said, no, I know, I'm not going to work for you anymore. Yeah, I know, but you said that the people who were here already were not going to film you. You were effectively already can You're not doing anything they noble. They were not you're, gonna, you're, you're screaming at the corn industry you want to currently work for because they won't shoot you in a corn. They want to. Sh they doesn't want to shoot me because of who I am. Yes. Yeah, because. And, yeah. and I lose my mind yeah, because of yeah, this, you understand? Yeah, so you got canceled. Can you you're imagine? pissed off and Nobody now you got a Nobody canceled me. I... Now you got a vent I left porn before you fucking bastard canceled yeah, me. You get it? Yeah. I left it before. You call okay? me rage. It's call me rage. <laughs> Look, you, you got canceled. You told me you got canceled. I did not get canceled. You Stop, got canceled. Bro. No, I'm not. Yes, you did. No. No, you said, I'm, I'm pissed not. off, I got a vendetta against these people, they canceled no. me, and I'm going to get them. No, they did and not I don't give a fuck me. about anybody else you said. They did not cancel me. I don't me. care about nobody but me. They told me to shut my mouth, uh -huh. and I shut my mouth in April. My publicist asked me if I can go on live and apologize for everything that they said. Hold on, hold on here. All right, we're having the lively convo. Can you lower the volume a little bit? Lower the volume. Lower the volume. Lower the volume. 
That's good. Uh, Peyo, <laughs> Peyo, thank you very much for the raid, man. Appreciate it. I hope you had a good stream. Peyo's a World of Warcraft streamer. Appreciate it very much, Peyo. Thank you so much for the raid over there on Twitch. Speaking of which, we're, we're getting into a heated debate. Uh, we Between myself and a member of the Spence to us. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> what, what, what? Tell me. KGB? <laughs> Anyways, you are so, so good on confusing. Pull up, pull up <laughs> Twitch really so quick. Good. Pull up Twitch since we got a raid from our good friend Peo. Guys, go to twitch.tv slash whatever. Peo, thank you so much for the raid, man. Hope, like I said, I hope you had a good stream. If you're coming over from Peo's stream, I'm about to ask them a World of Warcraft related dating question. Drop us a follow if uh, you like Peo. We're going to talk about dating as a French Canadian, too. Uh, and then also, if you have an available Prime sub, drop us a little Prime sub in the chat. In the chat, though. Appreciate it. Actually, can you um, pull up his Instagram? Because we are... I want to see if I can hook Peo up here. Can you pull up Peo's Instagram? It's, uh... I think it's like... You can Google it. It'll come up. Uh, so... Can I say something? You know, every time when I start the subject, I want to speak about something important. And you just go, like, in a shitty hole. Like, something important, you're like... you're full of shit. Oh, of course, bro. Of course. Like all of Thank us, you, you know? But no, I don't know about all I wanna of you, speak but about you're full of shit for sure. I want to speak something important about that porn is not allowed you to speak openly. You know, this is important subject because girls are not allowed yeah. to Cancel speak. Cancel culture in the porn industry. And as it's soon as you speak, it's depressing, see, it's depressing <laughs> the problem of our time that women cannot speak out yep. against the corn industry without the corn industry not, not against lobbying the corn them to industry. corn industry. No. They're not allowed to speak about anything. Yes, you can. You can speak out against the corn industry. People do it all the time. Uh, as soon no, as you Andrew, speak. she's no. talking about you can't talk about political subjects in the porn industry. Nothing. You know, the porn not industry. No, you're not allowed to speak about anything. As soon in, as you're working in the mainstream mm -hmm. porn, you're not allowed. All what you're allowed to do is say, hello, I look at the, I have a beautiful ass, look at my titties. Mm -hmm. You're not allowed to speak look about God, titties. about political, about your opinion, about the gender. Those or sons anything. of bitches. Those, those we bastards. need more discourse in the oh, We industry. need more political discourse from corn stars. That's that's what I we want, need. Yep. It's the, it's the way to solve the country's problems moving forward. I don't say we need it. Yeah. But but you started that. saying some political stuff. Oh, no, I never spoke about politics. You just said that the reason they won't give example, film you. I just give examples. You said politics. the reason they won't film you is because of your political takes. I did not say it. You're crazy. I did not say it. Then why won't they film you again? I d because of what I'm speaking online. Which is? About how black guys is stupid. Oh my God. So your political takes. Got it. So your political takes got you canceled. Just a vow. From doing, the from doing corn. <laughs> <laughs> that might be the only time I've seen cancel culture I agree with. <laughs> I don't get what you mean. I know, I know. All right. Um, Let's see here. We have. I want to uh, see the political. Oh, do you, do you have Peo's Instagram really quick? Why not? So, Let political me. is not always about. All right, hold on. Moving in things no. on. Okay. okay. All right. No, social issues are political. Okay, it was my mistake. All right. Would you guys date this gentleman here? He's French Canadian. Scroll down. Start scrolling down. Uh, <laughs> scroll down. Scroll down. Keep scrolling. Uh, let's see. Let's. Okay, wow, he's got a lot of clips. Keep going. Just keep on going. There he is. Look at him. Keep going. Never. <laughs> keep going. Look at this handsome devil. All right, keep going. Apparently let's get to, all, let's get to the bottom. Why would he have that? And we have, let's see, scroll all the way down. He's been posting a lot on Instagram, this guy. Holy shit. This hey, oh, calm well. down on the Instagram, buddy. Any other games? Uh, look at, look at, dude, this guy's just posting so much on fucking, where's the Thunder Fury picture? Keep going, all the way to the bottom. So there wait, so wait, wait, hang on. I just gotta <laughs> ask. So are you saying that the best way for me to get women out of corn is to ask I'm them to, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm gonna try to Let get women finish. out of corn. Let me Why do finish. I have to do it? Let me finish. But no, I'm not gonna finish. Why? Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna do that, comrade. Don't go, don't I'm go. not gonna do it, comrade. Let me finish. Are you gonna throw something at me? Why do I have to take do you, you know, you know, in this country, you go to court. jail for throwing stuff at the people, right? That's what happens here. We're not in Soviet Russia, comrade. Now, let me ask I'm you. Joking, don't worry. I'm not yeah, gonna, no, I know, I know. Let me ask you. Let me ask you, comrade. Let me just ask the question. Are you saying that the best way for me 
to get women out of corn I'm is to ask them. I mean, can never say, can, bro. Uh, you won't even let me ask the question, bro. Because, because the question of doesn't course, because I anything. cannot allow you to answer, ask question. <laughs> let me ask the question. Okay, go ahead. Oh, thank you. Okay, I'm so sorry, Your Majesty. Now, the question is. Are you saying the best way to get women out of corn is just to ask them to have controversial political takes? Would that get maybe, them out? Maybe. Like, would that get actually maybe. get them out of corn? It's actually gonna help. Well, is that what got you canceled? <laughs> I think it's gonna help. Is yeah. that what got you canceled? I did not get canceled. Okay, <laughs> but they don't want to sign you or shoot you because you have these political. They takes. was kind of trying to cancel me. Okay. Then I shut my mouth in April. Uh huh. And since April until the August, I've been keeping my mouth shut uh -huh. to get the contract with brothers. Because you, you want to get you wanna I wanna do more porn, contract, right? Because I want to get contract with brothers. Yeah. That was my plan. Yeah, so you want to do more porn. That was my plan to become best performer of the year mm -hmm. when I arrived to America. Mm -hmm. And this was after the attempt. Sorry? This was after you were going to commit the offing of yourself, right? Before, after, what I lost. Here. Was this? Was Can this? You zip your hoodie up a little bit. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Was this after you were going to uh, to unalive yourself? Yeah. After no, before. This is before. Po brothers, I want to get to brothers. All my life, I want to get to brothers. If they came knocking tomorrow, would you sign no, the they, they knocked to my door in the end of July, mm -hmm. and they say, "We're well, okay. We're gonna take you, but we need a working permit." And I'm like, okay. I went to UC's website. I check and it's saying in four months you're gonna get your working permit. And I'm like, okay, which means I'm gonna have to be super down the table for four months. Don't speak, don't post, nothing, nothing, no comments. And probably the idea about it starts to kill me inside because I've been always a rebel. I'm Russian. I like to speak openly. I like to call <laughs> bitches a bitches, you know. And probably <laughs> all that is just kind of. Uh, so you would have taken the corn fuck contract, track, <laughs> but they weren't going to let you say you don't like black guys. <laughs> 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 Just can't believe You say can't make this shit up. You can't make uh, this shit up. <laughs> say it again. Wild. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. I gotta have a smoke. I'm sorry. Would you only do it because it's browsers? <laughs> or funny. like, yeah, it's pretty funny. is it, is <laughs> no, it different from the OnlyFans? Like, would you funny. still do the same content? Ooh. Like, OnlyFans for browsers? Or do they make you work with other entertainers? Are you interested about what contract with Brothers? Yeah, because you were, s well, you were saying as soon that as you, you didn't want to do the As soon as you got anymore, contracted right? with Brothers, you don't allow to shoot for other productions, but you can do only But fans. I mean, do you do it by yourself? Or would you, it, was that the problem why you quit Corn? Was because of like the physical demand with other people? Like with. Okay, girl, I tell you the truth. I could not fuck with these dudes anymore. Right. That's it. I'm tired of fucking with dumb dudes because mm -hmm. there's no even one smart man in porn. All of them are idiots and and idiots and idiots. So then how so come I you don't want to do browser still? Like would you do it more? just by yourself? You like question? what's the difference? Do you have a final question on this? No. <coughs> that was it. <laughs> I just okay, I don't answer know. Answer a question then we're gonna move it on. I'll uh, say it again. The difference between the OnlyFans and the Brothers contracts. The oh. difference between the OnlyFans and the Brothers. Brothers, it's a company. You sign a contract right. with a company. Okay. OnlyFans, it's a platform where you're selling your content. Big difference. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see here. We have going to going to Lily. Uh, you went to Mexico right after getting cheated on and you hooked up with your best friend's family friend on the beach in the rain at 6 a.m. three hours before your flight home, LOL. Yeah, LOL, indeed. I, yeah, that's kind of it. That <laughs> happened. Huh, okay. Yeah, I feel like there's not much interesting stuff to stay at, to <laughs> follow that up with. I, I feel like, yeah. But like, were you how long were you on the Mexico trip for? It was like a week. And were you you were with this guy that you hooked up with? Yeah, it was like my roommate and her family and then well my roommate slash best friend, my best friend, but um yeah, her family and then her family's friends. And were you guys like crushing it on each other the entire trip or was this like yeah. totally spontaneous? 
No, yeah, we were. Wait, oh, was this the first time this, y'all? Yeah, we like met. Why did y'all wait trip. until like three hours before? I don't know. The doesn't fun. that just like happen? I don't know, right? Like, it's kind of like it builds up, and then it's like, oh my god, finally. I suppose we have some uh, tweets too. If we can, let's get through some of the reacts if we can. Uh, I'm not sure exactly where it starts. To be honest, maybe you could just show me the whatever we have first lined up. Wait, the what? Uh, just let's go in order. So I think oh, we have the tic TikToks. Oh, and the, okay, great. Do you have a Twitter? Yeah. Oh, I didn't look at that. Is it linked anywhere for you? Uh, I don't think so. It's just my name. Hmm. Okay. Do we have the reacts? F1 is not working on the TikToks. Um, can you refresh the page? See if that works. Oh God. Is it the same as your Instagram, pretty much? Yeah, basically, okay. I think so. Oh, yeah, well, maybe. It might also be Casper's Mamacita, because that's my cat's name. <laughs> okay, let me see if I can find it. It's not looking good. Um, so what you could try, I'm wondering, hmm. That's peculiar. Not on TikTok, huh? We don't even have to react. I'm like that's totally chill. Hmm. What is the reaction to? I don't. I don't know. I think just TikToks I made like afterwards. It's just like stupid. It's not. They're not even juicy. It's just like dumb, petty, like. Will that songs not? Songs where you're like. Is, that sh that should achieve song. the same thing, right? Yeah. That that's fine. Mhm. Mm Mean oh. to make fun of my laugh. Great. I didn't make fun that you didn't know of what a cesarean was. You what? Nothing. You thought that it was funny that I didn't know. No, what no, was. I didn't make fun of you for that. All right, let's go ahead. 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 One point, and then you vote me out. Could I have prepared more? Yes. Do I know what a C-section is? Duh. Oh, this isn't really interesting. Okay, yeah, let's, it's literally what I said uh, before. Here, can you bring you bring us to the next one? Yeah. The next TikTok. Oh yeah, I, I already brought this up too. Did we already talk about this? Yep. Uh, by the way, don't play, the next ones don't play until, just let me give you the indicator. Okay. Next. <laughs> uh, you don't, this is dumb. you're not gonna play this. Forget a hot girl summer I've completed. <laughs> My Serena Vander Woodson summer traveled 10 countries champagne <laughs> every day my blair waldorf bestie f with me at all times clubs till dawn brunch or right after the clubs is this the trip where there was the <laughs> yeah and like you went to 10 different countries this is like a family type trip um yeah oh, okay well no was so he <coughs> oh go ahead well I, I went to europe earlier that summer and then mexico with my friends so like both were is this a different trip that was like referencing all of them, but that was on that was on the Mexico trip. Well, that was both actually. Like those are clips of both. What are you confused about? Wait, so you went to ten different countries, on your Europe trip or your Mexico Mexico trip combined. was combined. Like I'm referencing the whole summer. But in the whole like hooked up with the family friend or whatever, that was in Mexico, Mexico. in the beach, and you went to ten countries though. Yes. Was the family friend with you on that? No. Other trip, okay, and then. Uh, on your trip, did you hook up with anybody while you were on your trip? On like the Europe The trip? Europe 10 countries trip or whatever. No, because that's when I was talking to the guy who cheated on me. I actually met okay. up with him in Florence because he lives in Italy. Oh, it was he long distance? To my school, but he, it, he goes to my school, but he was home for the summer in Italy. Hmm. Okay, but so you didn't, well, you met up with him then? Yeah. Okay. All right, and then let's see the, are, what are the other, are there any other TikToks? What's that? Okay, well, let's take a look at that. Oh, no. Yes, Why, we have why to are you doing this. this to me right okay, now? Go ahead. Oh, this, this is, is ridiculous. Not, this is not dating related at all. No audio on oh, this, this, please. You put uh, on. Here, just start My it from the beginning. Frost. Guys, come on. Okay, go ahead, play it. 
Okay, you, you can't play without the music. What? <laughs> what? Oh what my god, doing, she's bro. so weird. Are you okay? How cringe. Hey, it's uh, okay. Cringe a girl. That's uh, gross. all right. Like I love it. Oh no, it's not. Dirt. It's not related at all. And then we. What? What else do we have? Oh. Can you double check Beats before pulling them me? up? Make sure they're all. What did you do? They're all Nothing. totally legit. Like but they're I feel not like you'll make something of it. Because it's it's her Twitter, but like her Twitter's. What did you do? Don't even ask. Just pre-check. Praying for you. I don't think I have a bad digital footprint, like at all. Well, my music leaves, but. I don't know. Those, those aren't bad. Those, those aren't bad. They're it's just, just cringe. Whatever. <laughs> but I've had those played at parties. Is I can face anything after that. <laughs> uh, so, uh, huh? Uh, no, it's not good. Oh dang it! Oh, what? I'm. It's not her tweets. It's her tweets. Um, oh, I knew it. Wait, hold on. Okay, I'll come back there later. To can you remind me when I'm back there to yeah. take a look? I'm pretty sure <coughs> it was fine. Maybe you guys scrolled off of what it was supposed to be, but. Um, uh, okay, and then wh what else for reacts? We have pictures of like protests. We'll do that a bit later. Is there anything else? No. Hmm. There is one that's makeup related. Why don't we do that really quick? Uh, so before you pull that up, uh, so my position on this, and I'm open to hearing any people who disagree, uh, I think makeup is lying. I think it's deceitful. I think it's uh, misrepresenting your actual physical appearance. I'm agree. You agree? Okay. Is that bad? Uh, is it bad to deceive and lie? Is she sure? Well, I think so. Okay, what do you think? Can, I mean, I think there's different types of like makeup. Like, are you talking about like an, a, a natural look, like a full, or just anything? Like, you just think everyone. Well, should this I don't like do this whole ever. like natural makeup because if it didn't actually change how you looked, you wouldn't put it on. I'm, I'm on. Like, would you? Would any woman put on a face of makeup? And her face looks exactly the same, same blemishes, same marks that you're trying to cover up, whatever. I don't think a woman would put on makeup if it made no perceivable difference. Isn't that the whole purpose of makeup, to change or alter something about? I think sometimes you can emphasize features. Well, I mean, also, if you hide, like, I have a scar on my chin. Sometimes uh -huh. I'll put concealer on that. Like, sure. is that, I mean, yeah, is it deceiving? Maybe, like, a little, but ooh, is that... Am I hiding something that some yeah, but a guy would look at and be like, oh my god. <laughs> granting that it wouldn't be, uh, the scope of the deception would be fairly minimal, uh, do you singularly put makeup on your, on your scar, or is there a tendency to put it on the rest of your face too? Um, I put it under my eyes, my eye bags. Like, okay. But I also think I'm pretty without makeup. Yeah. So. Yeah. What do you say? <laughs> So my position, makeup is deceptive. Just want to, does anybody disagree? You guys? Sometimes it's performative. Well, so dating podcasts, I so guess acting, this is like more so in the context of dating. Uh, are you deceiving men when it comes to your physical appearance by wearing makeup? That's kind of the question I'm looking to have answered. And yes, acting would be deception. Sure. Uh, can you ask it again, oh, please? But like, I think that's where I'm leading is like, I don't think so. Is, is, is like wearing makeup, makeup is, it can be deceptive? Not my position. What is oh, deceptive? Oh, I see, I see. Hold on, one conversation at a time, please. What does mean deceptive? Okay, when I'm um, wearing makeup, okay, I think I'm ugly when I'm looking in the mirror without makeup. So all my life, I was trying to change it to being beautiful, mm -hmm. which means I find out that I've been lying to the society, lying to the dudes to catch the best the best dudes you know and mm. what is the most scary about it that i was lying to myself because every night when i was taking makeup out of my face i could not look at in the mirror i was like i don't want to see her in the mirror i don't like her she's ugly she's not beautiful let me put the makeup back <laughs> you know mm -hmm. and that's when i shaved my head it was two months ago mm. um I agree with you on this. Rage against the machine. And I have very long, long blonde hair. Uh, so mm -hmm. I find out that I was trying to hide myself. So it's makeup. You're not just lying to society. You're lying to yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's actually it's hard for us girls to 
know how because you know all these um, fillers on the Instagram and you kind of get use of these fillers and you don't really believe how you looks in real life I'm telling you from perspective perspective of the woman who is also wearing a lot of makeup in the past and all these filters you know it's confusing mm -hmm. you and then when you take it all out of your face and you look at in the mirror without insta filters nothing you like I don't want to see that bitch in the mirror let me put all that shit back you know so that's what I find out. Kind of sounds like a couple of months ago you just had like a total mental breakdown. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy, bro. It was crazy, crazy, crazy. What's uh, your answer? Um, I wear makeup because it's fun. I think if you see me with eyeliner, you're not going to think, oh, she's natural with eyeliner. So let me just, I, I actually don't even care really what your motivations are. Yeah. But like knowing that you're not just putting makeup on and it's, there are going to be people who are interacting with you mm -hmm. who are going to see you wearing makeup. Yeah. So whatever your motivations are are kind of irrelevant. If it has the potential to end up deceiving a man into finding you, gonna, you more attractive are than you, you otherwise are. Are you going to date a girl are. without seeing her face without makeup? Sorry, what's that? Are you going to date a girl without seeing her face without makeup? Like, are you going to barely know a girl and then date her? Because if you've Some known a girl for a while, you've will not let you see them without makeup. Guys, can I go to the and wash my makeup? And then I will be back in five minutes and you keep speaking about it. I just want to show you my face without makeup. <laughs> okay, <laughs> sure. <laughs> All right. Uh, because it's fun. I think if you see me with eyeliner, you're not going to think, oh, she's natural with eyeliner. So let me just, I, <coughs> I actually don't even care really what your motivations are. Yeah. But like knowing that you're not just putting makeup on and it's, there are going to be people who are interacting with you mm -hmm. who are going to see you wearing makeup. Yeah. So whatever your motivations are are kind of irrelevant. If it has the potential to end up deceiving a man into finding you, gonna, you more attractive are than you, you otherwise are. Are you going to date a girl without seeing her face without makeup? Sorry, what's that? Are you going to date a girl without seeing her face without makeup? Like, are you going to barely know a girl and then date her? Because if you've Some known a girl for a while, you've Some women will not let you see them without makeup. Guys, can I go to the and wash my makeup? And then I will be back in five minutes and you keep speaking about it. I just want to show you my face without makeup. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> All right. Um, so go ahead. The mental breakdown continues. Well, pretty most serious. women hide it. How do they hide it when they sleep, when they go to bed, when they swim? <laughs> how about how about like you you just want some makeup wipes? She's doing it in the can you go in the bathroom, please? <laughs> can you go in the bathroom, please? Yes, she did. Can somebody tell her I, she can't hear me. Go to the bathroom. Can somebody back there? Yes. Yeah, do them in the bathroom, please. Great. Now she's they do have those in water. Russia, too. Uh, oh, my God. <laughs> she's going to look like little boy. All right. <laughs> You know what? Uh, <laughs> so back to the conversation. So, <laughs> what were you saying? Um, when you sleep, makeup. Mm -hmm. Okay, and. So, are you gonna see a woman sleeping with makeup when you sleep with her? Right, but I mean, so. When when is the first impression occurring? First date. Within five seconds of meeting? Yes. Are you going to be removing the makeup within five seconds of meeting? No. So I'm not but able... But you can still see a person's facial features. You're not going to transform your whole face. Mm. You can make significant transformations with makeup. Uh, even minimal <laughs> amounts of makeup can change a person's appearance to the point of perhaps catching the eye of a man that you would not otherwise catch had you not been wearing the makeup. Mm -hmm. And so I think it's a deception. Okay. Um, now... It's not like, well, I am kind of hardcore against makeup to some degree, but I guess women have a lot of issues with men lying, but it's just interesting that women, you guys are lying about what we're attracted to, that what makes us attracted to you, you guys we're have openly no... openly wearing makeup. But mm. How are we lying then? But didn't you say there was like natural makeup that's a little harder to like decipher if, there, if a woman's wearing it? Yeah, there is natural makeup, like mascara. But and and also, even if I can tell a woman is wearing makeup, mm -hmm. even if I know she's wearing makeup, it's not always possible to make a determination as to what she will look like when she's not wearing the makeup. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I can tell you're wearing makeup, but she could still be attractive without the makeup, yeah. but she could also not be attractive without it. Mm -hmm. And there's not really a surefire way to tell. 
I feel like if you look at a person's features, you're going to be able to tell. It's mm. Makeup's pretty transformative. Mm -hmm. In any case, the question is, is it deceptive? If you, I mean, you're putting on something over your face, a mask almost. Mm -hmm. You could say so. Sure. What do you think? Yes, take her to the pool on the first date. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, what do you think? Um, I think it can be deceptive, but I think my follow-up question is, I don't necessarily mean that that's, or I don't think that that's bad, because... You don't think it's bad? Well, because I think you can get to know somebody who's wearing a ton of makeup, they take off their makeup after you get to know them, and you're like, okay, their personality is awesome, I think they're a great human being, like, this is okay, I can mm. deal with the cons. Well, so let me ask you this. A man lies about his height on a uh, dating app, lies about it, shows up much shorter than what the woman anticipated, but he's got a great personality to make up for it despite his, his lie. Is that it's totally fine? I think it depends on the person. If you're willing to overlook that, then sure. I mean, I personally, if someone was shorter than me and they lied about it, then I'd probably say, you know, what I don't know they've got a great personality? You. I personally know, but some people, yeah, maybe. No, but he, they have the such a great personality. Yeah, some people might take that. Okay. Would you right. take it? No. No. What about you? What do you think? I just think it depends. Because, like, you know, like, for example, like, you could put a concealer to enhance, but then there's those girls that put, like, tape on their face. Mm -hmm. And, like, sure. yeah. Yeah. Oh. you know what I mean? Like, they look like a whole completely different person. Mm -hmm. I'm like, damn. What do you, what do you think? Uh, yeah, basically it's, like, to an extent, but I do think it's deceptive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, I agree. I think it's deceptive. And I think it does alter mm -hmm. your face, especially, like, even, like, eyelashes. Like, my boyfriend says I look, oh, my bad, my hands. But he says I look a lot better without all of mm -hmm. the extra. He likes very minimal, low makeup. And I found that I notice a lot of guys actually do. They like less, which is okay. And I think once in a while it's nice to, you know, you're going to do something like this or go out to a show or work. But in general, like, some people are like, I have to put on makeup to go to the grocery store. Or you can't see me, you can't see me without makeup. Like, I need to get ready first before you come in the room. Yeah, I think that's, that's when it is very yeah. deceptive. Do not go to what they think that um, I never can find a real guy, probably, because I never present him who I am, really, you know, because I've always been trying to catch a dude with my look. Mm -hmm. And I think it's been completely wrong. Well, you did remove your makeup. <laughs> um, cool. Yeah, Didn't ask for that, but I uh, <laughs> appreciate it, I guess. No, actually, uh, I've been planning to arrive here without makeup. Wait, you have a red tattoo on uh, your... Oh, my God, they have this... <laughs> You took it off. <laughs> no, it was, I had a fake eyebrows also. Yeah. And a couple of days ago, I went to the tattoo studio to make a leather to remove uh, them. Because I decided also to remove all my tat face tattoo and uh. also fake eyebrows. Because it was giving me also the fake look. It was not my real eyebrows. They were just like so different. And then I was like, let's remove them as well. And they become orange. <laughs> Why did they become orange? What yeah, the fuck? Orange? About orange eyebrows. What's going on? Wait, can I ask you some questions? Yeah. Okay. Um, so, I mean, there are two separate questions. What are your thoughts then on like hair dye and or plastic surgery, like cosmetics? Plastic well, I'm against plastic surgery. I'm a natural body supremacist. Okay. So I'd prefer women with small boobs over the perfect giant fake titties. Prefer a little belly fat than lipo. Uh, prefer no upper lip, small upper lip versus lip filler. Uh, what's the other one? Oh, prefer like no ass over perfect BBL. Um, yeah, so. What about hair dye? Hair dye? Yeah, like, if, like dyeing your hair. Uh, I don't find it as objectionable as okay. like makeup or plastic surgery. Why? Um, well, I guess compared, like comparing with plastic surgery, I guess that's more extreme, but like hair and then compare that to makeup. I mean, I typically tend to prefer people's natural hair color, but. I don't find it alters the appearance substantially. But is that not color. deception? Well, the thi at least I think for most men, like if a woman has a certain physical uh, or a f certain fi uh, facial appearance that you find appealing, whether she's blonde, brunette, or redhead, uh, it's not clear to me if like that will shift the gears I mean, towards that like a personality or an appearance <coughs> completely. So you think that the like a hair color can alter an appearance it kind of sure. makes them look different though not not much better generally girls do it just to sort of mix it up a little bit if you're a natural blonde and you go brunette it's just a well, bit of a change really up bit exciting off. you know some people really can't pull off a certain color and they do it anyways i'd though. say so and yeah that's of, not course, of course but makeup is yeah. like directly making you look a lot better contours your face sometimes it yeah. can make you look worse 
Yeah, I think can do for sure. Yeah. I agree. Like brunettes, I mean, maybe this is I'm biased because I prefer women with darker hair, but if brunettes who go blonde, I think they look worse. Yeah. So I suppose they're right. deceiving me into thinking they're into me thinking they're less attractive than they actually are. Um, but uh, okay. yeah. I'm just curious. So I don't know. Um, but was that the other question? Yeah. So no, the hair dye, and then what was the other one? It was just the cosmetic surgery. Oh yeah, plastic yeah. surgery. Yeah. Hard no. Mm -hmm. Fake titties, nope. Sorry, Russia. Um, BBL, hard no. Sorry, Russia. Do you have a BBL? No, it's a Mexican silicone. In the booty? Yeah. Okay, all right. Um, you need to lipo? Be you need to be fat. To lipo or no lipo? You need to be fat to have a BBL. Ah, you were, and you've I've always been, been trim. Okay. I've been always skinny one. Yeah. So yeah, BBL is terrible. <coughs> I don't get the BBL. Yeah. The fake lips. No offense, Russia. Mexican Not silicone. Not anybody else here any uh -huh. lip filler? No. Lip I filler. remove all my lip You have some lip Check filler. I'm not a fan of lip like filler. Like I will. Sausages. I will congratulate you though. I you remove it. I'm so happy. Wait into the mic if you can. I remove uh, my lip by fillers. The way, wait, hold, hold on. All of it. And even the I think you wipe some of the makeup off on the microphone too. It looks like there's a little <laughs> residue there. Um, <laughs> at least c congratulations to you for not getting the labiaplasty. Congrats. <laughs> no, they, yeah, they're telling me, cut your lips, cut your lips. I'm like, oh fuck no. off. <laughs> These lips are beautiful. Oh Wait, you could do that? Yeah. Hashtag yeah. big lips. Yeah, so when you asked that. earlier if it was real, it's like too big, I guess. Yeah. Oh, no, the big lips is beautiful. Keep but your big oh lips, girls. Keep it. It's, just, it's <laughs> sad. Exactly. It's sad when a woman gets it. Okay, we have. Uh, oh wait, no, we have to do the video. Excuse me. Uh, can you? We'll play the video really quick. No audio on it. Mute the audio. All right, we'll just play it. You can just play it. Why not? We'll see the whole transformation. All right, here we go. See that? All right, that here's the transformation. All right, you got. What is she? In her, maybe in her thirties or something. Thirties. Oh, All right. Uh, wow, she's very. Does, does she have a? No. Okay. Tra it's beginning. Transformation's beginning. Okay. All right. Wow, that's a lot of. It's starting. It's like a work of art. It's starting. Yeah, that's my. No, it's really work. Wow, look at all that asbestos. What the hell? What is that? Oh. <laughs> I need that same photo for you. All right, here we go. What the? Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh. Wow. That's quite. Oh my goodness. <laughs> she used like t tape under her eyelids. Can we do sure. like a before and after? Hold on. Yeah. yeah so yeah, um, go. Put it to like two seconds. Whoa, whoa. And then go to the, go to the end again. Go to the beginning. And then go to like, yeah, right under the audio thing. Uh, wait, a little further back. And then wait, here, no, go back a little bit. One more, just a little more. Ah, she's squinting, just. Okay, let's go and then go to two seconds, like two seconds. Oh, that's a pretty decent transformation. Yeah, huh? and it? that's not even the finished look. Now go to the finished look. Let's skip to the finished look. Uh, Bruh, different human. It being. looks like a, yeah, like oh, you. She you she put tape put on her chin though. On, look at her chin. Yeah. I had the same she video in my Instagram before. account. <laughs> she has nice I don't know, man. That shit. That's kind of crazy. Y'all doing some crazy shit. Uh, well, I also think it d depends on what it's being used for. Like, if you're going to date, yes, yeah, deceptive. Yeah. But if it's for, like, a show or, like, a performance or, like, just for fun to, like, show what you can mm. do with makeup as, like, an experiment, it's just fun. It's like a costume. Jake, you ever been on a dating app? I have. Now, uh, your assessment, at least my experience on the dating apps, uh, what's the rule when it comes to women wearing makeup on the app? My experience, at least, certainly, definitely the first photo 99% of the women, first photo, full face of makeup or makeup. Yeah, yeah. And then like- Oftentimes as well, like when you meet up with them, they do look pretty different. Mm -hmm. It's pretty common. And then sometimes they'll even employ filters. Yes. Uh, but I, I've encountered full on dating profiles. There's not one photo of them with minimal or no makeup. <laughs> You're not allowing us to make an assessment of what you actually look like. I mean, yeah, isn't that catfishing? Right? Yeah, like it's very common. There's just like, I, don't I mean, yeah, that's deceptive. I'm not types. saying it's not. I'm just saying if it were used for like. I'm telling you. Wait, qu question for the ladies. If if you could, 
Like, let's say we just removed makeup entirely. So your competition couldn't wear makeup either, other women. It would just level the playing field. For it or against? For it. Yeah. For it's it. going to be amazing. Makeup's expensive. Yes, expensive. yes. Isn't that why you all And it's waste makeup? of the time, bro. We are telling you. Like it's minimum exam. one hour every day. Sometimes. And it's annoying each of us. I know. Yeah. But that get them society tell us that the woman should to wear makeup. And they give all this advertising. Can we just kind of Shut hypnotize them? fuck up. <laughs> Austin, why did you press that? Right? <laughs> why do you want me to shut up? No, that wasn't me. That was Austin. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It I saw Austin. your finger. <laughs> uh, it's just sitting in I'm front just, of me. It's a joke. Um, but I'm telling you, we're also suffering about it. I'm telling you from perspective of the So then just don't use Sometimes it. Sometimes it's Yeah, fun. can someone just, just like, there's normal makeup. We'd like but there's some jobs, like my cocktailing job, you have to do full mm. glam makeup. You could we we'll have home. to. Yeah, that's but it's a performance. Yeah, but that's a performance. I feel like that's when it's I like, mean, it's yeah. A, it's a regular job, though. Okay, but here's the like example. When I arrived like to America, as a Wait, hold on, hold on. Let her talk. No, you're just a cocktail server. You don't have to be, I mean, unless you, and if you do like bottle service, then yes, the image is Instagram model, you're, you're putting on a face then. But like a, as a regular cocktail waitress, I don't see why it's necessarily important. I have to do full glam makeup and full hair. Otherwise, I can't go to work. I don't you're saying that's a thing that you have to do full glam for yes, yourself. In Las Vegas, that's, and see, I think to. for for me that's where it reaches contract. performance because that's where right. it's like you're you're like why for what reason are you having to do that because they want people to be like oh wow look at this like glam it's glam yeah, it's like why is it a part of the job or ojos locos or twin right, peaks but like why does it have to be a part of the job because you know that's what, what people it's desire and what they go there for so you're performing for the people that go there desire yeah exactly put that on for society why do we have to as women why isn't the natural beauty you, you, you chose well. to do it because you chose to work there, so you're choosing to perform and I wear the makeup right. to perform. I understand that because mm -hmm. you sign yeah. in your contract, you're agreeing. I'm just saying in general, <laughs> as a standard, why does that exist in the first place? It's just because so your beauty is commodified. Yeah. 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 Makeup is your, also your, a power, your, your, right? Your commodity is, no, is, is your beauty when you're, when you're working in the service right industry. You get paid they want to get beautiful. tips. Yeah. Cute yeah. girls get more tips, and they want you to wear makeup and look glamorous, so you get more right. tips. No, I, I understand being the glamorous, but there's also a lot of people like, you look exactly the same without makeup, in my opinion. It's beautiful. No, you did not saw me with a full makeup. I can yeah. do like that girl. Like, <laughs> I, but I think, like, honestly, like, some people don't look the same when they take makeup Nobody look the same. No. No, no, no. I Even the so. foundation changed everything. It does. Come it, on, girl. It hides the blemishes. Don't lie, lie, okay? No, I'm just saying that I, I really just do think Just one foundation, you completely different person. Right. I'm just saying in general, I think it would be nice if we didn't have to have that pressure to wear makeup, you know? That's, mm -hmm. I mean, my counseling job, I don't have to. They're very fine with it, whatever. I sit in the cubicle. And then going into that atmosphere, it, it does change, and then that's why I do think it, it is deceptive as well at that point, you know? It would be nice if you could just represent or enhance that natural beauty that we all have. I don't, I just never understood the pressure for it. I mean, I don't have a problem with makeup, I just, you know. All right, uh, Anand, Brian, you do need to start calling out hair dye with the same energy as you do makeup and plastic surgery. It's as bad, if not worse, than makeup. Total deception, especially after a certain age. That's only true. I love like, it. Yeah. Uh, I don't yeah, think, think that's that with true. With older women, it, yeah. it would be, I guess. What? Kind of. I don't think like changing the color of your hair is nearly on par with plastic surgery. I don't even think it's even no. approaching the makeup argument. But it could hide age, like age, aging. No, it can't. Sometimes, if they have like stuff done to their face. If they have gray hair. Yeah. So how old are they? I don't They're, know, that's the thing, you wouldn't just, know. Just, so just to be clear, a 70-year-old woman who has gray hair dyes her hair, <laughs> and now she looks 20? No. Is that the argument? No, 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 like, obviously, she's, yeah. like, let's say, like, she has, you know, gray hair here and there, so let's say she cool. looks young, but she has the, gray hair. Okay, go, what were you gonna say? Well, it'd be right. Even that some would, men that would don't actually like gray be kind of cool. Some men don't like gray hair, Silver they Fox. want young youth. They or want whatever. youth. Hmm? They, men like youth. When, sure. you, when you dye your hair gray, or not gray, when you dye your hair brown from gray, you look more youthful. It I suppose, but like, I don't even, like, she would look how she would look if she had dark hair. If she's got gray hair and like she dyes it, dyes it darker and gets her hair done and everything and makes it look silky and brown, then she'll, she'll look hotter, for sure. 
She look like she look a couple like a year yeah. or two younger. Mm-hmm. She's not gonna. No one's gonna be like, oh, like you're 52. Like they're gonna hit her with like 41, 42. And if doesn't, she doesn't, has a good doesn't face. it start going gray at the roots or is yeah. it just straight? The, the roots. roots. So they look more youthful. Younger. Yeah. But girls, are you agree that we always have this problem that we can't choose which color we want? Do you Everyone have a similar problem? I don't dye my hair. Good, because <laughs> I think you find out that the best color for you is the one God made you with. I think so. Yeah, right? so I mean, I don't, th- I don't have as big of a quarrel with hair, <coughs> hair dye as I do with makeup and plastic surgery, but I suppose it's on the spectrum of changing your physical appearance. I mean, I'll just leave it at I prefer the natural hair color, I guess. I mean, so don't like really. Hair. Yeah, don't really care. Mm. Uh, but I also like if she has like a little, she has dark hair, but she does some, I don't know what girls fucking do with their Highlights? I don't know. She lightens in a bit. I don't really care. Balayage. Like, I don't think that's going to like be <laughs> on the same level of like she's had plastic surgery or she like cakes on the makeup. I don't. I don't put it in the same playing field. So, we maybe I look at hair a little bit too much, but I definitely do look at hair as like a as a feature of, mm-hmm. of a chick when I'm when I'm assessing her physical beauty. If she has nice hair, silky hair, rather than like dry, thin hair. Oh, I'm that, not even. That's definitely. It about I'm diet just, I mean, too. like the the quality of the hair or the hairstyle. That's another thing, but I'm just saying like the specifically the color of the hair, which seems to be the conversation. He's talking about hair dye. What about like hair transplants? I was gonna say that about (laughs) if a man gets like a hairline, you know how you can do like the injection thing. This is amazing. I wanna do that. I would I would say that that's deceptive. (laughs) Mm. I don't I still don't think it's as deceptive though as makeup. But why though if it's enhancing their look? No, it's still deceptive. But it's not as deceptive. It can completely change in appearance, though. It's changed. You haven't seen those Instagram videos where they're like, you know, really like they're their hairline, like, like the homeless back. guys, yeah. or if they're completely bald. Yeah, it yeah. can change your appearance. It's Are deceptive. deceptive? <laughs> you can look completely different under a beard. A beard's natural. Mm. Yeah, I'm with that. A beard's natural, so. And also, surgeries like uh, hairline replacements can s- sort of yeah, bring you yeah. back to your natural state, rather than taking you away from it with like fake boobs or mm. nose jobs or whatever it is. Mm. All right, well, uh, we have Techno Trooper. Ladies, would you consider plastic surgery once makeup doesn't work? No. Mm-mm. No. No. Any people planning to have plastic surgery here? I've gotten I not plastic surgery, but like the Juvederm filler once. It was oh. like one syringe mm-hmm. for like fun. It was just kind of like a little side thing, mm. like quest. I love mm-hmm. plastic surgery. Um, but I wouldn't do like oh real boy. plastic surgery. We have non as natural body supremacist. You should also be a natural hair supremacist. The vast majority of blondes or redheads are not, and it completely changes their True. appearance, especially if it hides mm. the gray. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I mean, again, I do prefer natural hair, but I find it less uh, objectionable than makeup or plastic surgery. And there's degrees of plastic surgery too. Uh, like if she has, it's I suppose the degree and in invasiveness of the procedure. Like if she has a, a little bit of lip filler, not quite as bad as uh, like a BBL. If she's had a rhinoplasty, not quite as bad. And actually, I do concede that rhinoplast. I think all the plastic surgeries typically tend to make women look less attractive. Rhinoplasty actually does have a tendency to improve the aesthetics, Mm -hmm. I think, of women. But, well, at least if it's done correctly, sometimes it gets botched. But um, generally speaking, it it has pretty significant impact on aesthetics. Um, But, uh, yeah, anyways. Uh, Thank you, Anon. Appreciate the message. We have a message here from Stifler. Ask everyone to rate their looks, total face, body, on a scale of 1 to 10. You can't pick 7, starting with you. Go ahead. With me? Total look? Okay. Yeah. I knew we were going to speak about it. <laughs> so, then, to, uh, if I have to put a number on my look, mm-hmm. I need to know what is 0 and what is 10. So uh, zero, zero is the ugliest woman to have ever existed, and ten is the most beautiful woman. Yeah, but what is ugly? Person. What is ugly and what is beautiful? Yeah, let's pull it up. Um, so, Austin, there's, I don't know if we still have this. Th- oh, I don't think we, the true rate me. I'll try to find it if. Uh, 
Okay, we know what is ugly, yeah. right? Huh? We know what is ugly. We know what is zero. Uh, zero is dirty. It's, it's the. It's not <laughs> the one that's no already pulled up. That's the guide. I need the. Uh, I think it's the men's. The the. Can you go to the? Do you have the Reddit pulled up? Uh, women's guide. Can you find the women's guide? Yeah. Not the primer. The guide. Uh, okay. Where would it be? All right. Here, let me just. Sorry, what? Women's reading guide. Yes, you have it. Okay, uh, we'll pull it up if you guys want. Wait, wait. Actually, you know what? Hold on. No, we'll pull it up after you guys rate yourselves. Well, we don't know. I've been that. thinking about it when I've been however driving from feel. downtown. However, Hang however on. you feel. Wait, wait, wait. But we Let's need have to know what this. is ten. Huh? Tell us ten. What is ten? What do you think ten is? How do you feel? I have no idea. I can't rate women. Okay, we'll come back to you then. No, no, no. You give us what is ten for you. Okay, right? I assume you know what ugly means. Yeah, and I assume go. you know what beautiful means. Sorry? Do you know what the word beautiful means? Mm, yes. Okay, so since you know what both those words mean, you have some standard for what both of them are. So 10 being the most, so hang on. So 10 <laughs> being the most beautiful and zero being the uh, most ugly, where do you place yourself between those two extremes? Beautiful face and acting and soul on only that's face. great i just want to know the number where do you place yourself what about to place me myself to give me the answer Gyop. physical beauty how do i just the physical beauty yeah. oh just the physical beauty five okay um you have no reference you have no reference your reference um body too everything no, just just your physical appearance Physical. Well, you can do total. We'll do total face body. Total face. Oh, uh, can you come back to me? <sighs> yes. I think you're. I think we can't because okay. I think that collectively, <laughs> if you hear X other women say X other number, mm -hmm. that you'll try to mimic that rather okay. than give us the actual answer. Uh, I'd say six maybe. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wait. So do total face body. Um. And what does it mean total? Total, like as a whole. Mm -hmm. So what do you write your body? body? What do you write your face? Okay, my and body then what is do you, What do you write the, the total? Um, total, I'll say six, face six, body five. So give me a 6.5 total, face six. Sorry. It's face a combination six. of both. It's like both together. Mm. So what do you consider the overall Overall, I mean, overall, I feel like a 6.5. Okay. Um, when I look at myself in the mirror alone, I would say a 10. But then when I start to compare myself to others, I would say 7 or 8. So I'm going to equalize that to a solid 8.4. Okay. Mm -hmm. Five total. Six total. Let's do face body, though. Break it, break it down. Uh, face, like 5. And then body, like 6. Okay. Yeah, I'm the same. Face like a five, body like a six. Um, I would say face, I would pick seven, but we can't. Probably six. I wish I had you're you're a very beautiful, girl. Thank you. <laughs> um, body, I, I don't know. Let's see. No, everyone I really needs to be rating seven. themselves <laughs> higher. <laughs> I don't know. I'm like, maybe Sorry, body eight. I said everyone yeah. needs to be rating themselves higher. Like mm. These are such low numbers. We just let them rate themselves. And then we'll talk about it's it. actually yeah. good like, to it's know. It's hard to pick because yes. everyone has different tastes. And like, you might think uh, one body's a certain way, you know. Uh, Jake, what do you rate yourself? I go, uh, seems high-minded, but six, six. That's what I always say. Six, six, total six. Mm. Like mm. four, two. <laughs> mm. <laughs> no, you're better than that. Suck a score, bro. Uh... Five face, four body, so 4.5, I guess, total. Um, you think people should rate themselves higher? Yeah, because I think it's, uh, like, yes, beauty is subjective, but there's also, yes, a universal beauty, but I think when you look at yourself, you shouldn't be rating based on how you compare yourself to other people, but how you view yourself. And But we live in society. Those two, well, those two concepts don't match. What so two concepts? So if you concepts? say beauty is subjective, I agree. But then you say, but there's universal yeah. standards. Well, th that's not subjective. It's a universal standard. I think, I think it's, it's not as black and white. I think there's universal standards, especially um, in comparison to different countries. Well, like what would those universal standards be? I think in America it would be... Well, that, that's not universal then. 
Okay, then I take back the word universal. Okay. I think in each country or region. There's a, there's a, a different there's standard? A, yeah, there's a different standard. Do you, really? You think so? You don't think that there's yeah. like a thing which is appealed? Have you never appealed? seen those videos where they kind of like put together, they ha they've had surveys and then they kind of like create like an AI <coughs> version of what like the most beautiful woman in that country looks like? Yeah, but it, it seems to me that the like symmetrical features across the board mm -hmm are exactly, people are always after essentially the same that thing. That would be, I think, a universal quality of beauty. Yeah, so that would be everybody, yes. though. Yeah, so that's not subjective then. But I think beauty can also be subjective. Yeah, but I, so I don't want to talk past each other, right? So we try to, try to not do that. I think that aspects of it can be subjective. Preferences, okay. tastes, things like that. Okay, yeah. But I do think I that there's that. universals. And I think I that, that since, like, you would believe in evolution, right? Yeah. Okay, so, I mean, it, w it would make sense, for instance, for men to have preferences towards youth because that's mm -hmm. what is going right. to signify fertility, yes. right? Yes. So, I mean, if that, if there's going to be markers for what is youthful, mm -hmm. less lines on the skin, more that. angular features, less right. weight on the body, things mm -hmm. like that, right? Mm -hmm. So, if, that, if that's the case, then I, I think we're not really in disagreement here, right? I don't think we are. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but you said that you think people should rate themselves higher. Yeah, because I think when you're rating yourself, I mean, someone can rate you and be like six or 10, like depending mm -hmm. on what they think is attractive. But I think when you're rating yourself, I think, I mean, this is my coming from, oh, the world needs to be peace, love, you know? Like I think mm -hmm. when you rate yourself, Imagine it should be high. Yeah, like I think you should think of yourself as a beautiful human being just because you're human and mm. that's why. I would rate these girls higher than they rated themselves. Right. So yeah, I think we all will do. <laughs> Mm -hmm. They're all pretty. Everyone's really pretty here, and I would rate them higher. Than so how do you think they should rate you? Mm. I don't know. I, I don't know what they see as pretty. I don't know if they see me as pretty. I don't know. Wait. So, question for you, though. Mm -hmm. uh, do you think, uh, have you ever known a guy who thought he was more attractive than he actually was? Not looks, even. Just he thought he, thought he was no, the yeah, fucking most, shit. Most definitely. Mm. What's so, and you think that's wrong, right? No, I think if they view themselves that way, then great. Love yeah, but are they less attractive because they are that way? Um, cocky? Yeah, cocky. Cockiness is not attractive. I mm. So if, you're if you think you're on par. I think it's confidence, I not think cocky. Yeah, there's a difference. There's a difference between confidence and cocky. Right, but so if a woman who is clearly unattractive yeah. thinks she's on par with the most beautiful women in the world, mm. Is Hello. this not being cocky, mm -hmm. or is it just, <laughs> is it confidence? Which is it? Confidence. confidence. Oh, it's confidence. If the if a just clearly unattractive woman who's <laughs> obese, how, her arm is missing. I don't even fucking know. <laughs> and that's the one Andrew likes to say. She's fucking an amputee or some shit. But I don't know. somebody I'd loves still her. Fucking but I'd still somebody fuck, thinks she's I'd still beautiful, fucking amputee. Brian. Um, <laughs> Wait. So why is it confidence? For women to be delusional, but it's cocky no, and unattractive. No, I think it's confident on both ends. You wait, I didn't think it's really you know, you, you, it's are you? It's confidence on both ends. Are you attracted to confident men? Yeah. Yeah. So are you attracted to men who think they're hot shit but they're not? No, but that's the same. Why are you able to make the determination? I didn't say that. You said you were able. You knew men who thought they were hot shit, but your assessment of them was that they were not hot shit, but they're confident. Aren't women attracted to confidence? I'm confused. I, I think there's a difference between cocky and confidence, though, with like the way you act about it. Like, you let's guys say, said like, it was confident. huh? You guys said it was confidence. That's right. why. So, like, How let's say, act. let's yeah. say, let's say, like, a guy's cocky and he's gonna be like, oh, like, I'm, I'm this, I'm that, da, 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 just trying to like downplay everybody near him. But if he's confident, he's like, I feel good about myself. Like, you guys should too. Like, there's the motivational I don't, confidence. I don't even think it's that. That's the case with guys. I think generally, when we're talking about charisma, a confident guy is a guy who outwardly projects having. Um, having whatever it takes to be confident, but he also can be self-deprecating as well. He, he, he appears to be a, a high-value guy or whatever, but he doesn't really have to say that outwards. He just exactly, projects cause it. He, exactly, because he's confident. So he like, yeah, but he wouldn't, be, he wouldn't be there saying, look at me, I'm a 10. That, that's, that's what cocky is. Mm -hmm. so that's why he is like, delusional but confidence. So then, so then it wouldn't delusional. be confidence. <laughs> <laughs> then you're exactly. allowed to be, you're, yeah, and you're allowed to be delusional. Uh, I don't know, I just think... No, delusional is not good. <laughs> Well, no. yeah, it's not. So but let me um, make up my. But why would you? Why would you bring yourself down and hate yourself just because you don't yeah, think yeah, you're yeah. beautiful, like in a universal standard? I don't know. I like. I get that. Like someone not being as oh, okay. attractive because they're too cocky. But I don't think that should change how they view themselves. Like whatever, do your thing. Uh, we 
I'm still a little confused though, because women don't like cocky guys, and you you're able to make a determination as to you all were like almost smiling and giggling and like yes I know plenty of men who like think they're they're the shit but they're not but how can you make that determination about men but not women I didn't say it's that. towards both yeah I think it's both a girl could be like I don't but when I said no when I said there was a like clearly unattractive woman <laughs> clearly but she thought she was on par with the most beautiful women in the world all of you ah, said that like she was confident, like not cocky. But it's just like how he said, how he said, like confidence. Like you don't have to no, tell no. people. No, I said the opposite. So I said for a guy, if you look at like typically, so you're talking about just the guy then. At, look at typically charismatic guys. You might think of like Russell Brown, uh, Russell Brand, uh, Chris Hemsworth, Robert Downey Jr. People like this. Generally, they're charismatic and confident, but they will never outwardly say, "Oh, look at me, look at me." They'll just project that in a way that they don't have to say it, and they they also have an ability to be self-deprecating as well. Exactly, but I, that's confidence. what I'm saying. Is like people who are confident, they don't have to like you know let people know because yeah, they, but, they but know. Yeah, but with the girl in this example, the the toad that we're talking about, if she's saying, "Look at me, I'm a ten, I'm I'm on par with the most," that would be delusion. That would yeah, be she's pro she's just projecting her insecurities that, and yeah. her. So how is that? It's how being that cocky. Confident. I didn't. What do you mean? Oh, there's yeah. different behavior. She can behave different. She can be very ugly, but behave like she's beautiful without and like going and screaming like about shit. it. But, 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 but we just said that she thinks that she's on par with the most beautiful woman in the world. So there would be an element of delusion there, right? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, so that wouldn't be confident. That would be delusional. No, if she thinks she's on par with the most beautiful. Like, it's this, yeah, is delusional. Yeah, this is delusional. Yes, right. But so like so but you like guys all said that she's confident. But let's say she no. feels confident. She's not bragging about it. Then she's, she's humble. confident. If, she's if humble. She's if confident. She, if she feels well, as though she's okay, on the that's, that's fair. Women. That's, yeah, that's okay, what I'm trying to say. Okay, hang on. That's fair. Let me, let me kind of dive into this real quick just to kind of back up Jake's point here. <coughs> let me ask this question a different way. Zero to ten on looks, not just a physical assessment, everything, the entire package, including how you feel. Zero to ten. 9.5. Okay. Um, I'd keep it a six. A nine. Still eight, eight and a half. Wait, wait, ask me one more time. Like it's two. the whole package now. It's the attitude, it's the confidence, it's the competence. Like it's what the I would looks. rate myself? Yeah, what you'd rate yourself. With like my personality wise? Yeah, too? everything, yeah. Like a nine. Nine, yeah. If I were to include personality, probably like an eight. Yeah. I would pick seven again, but I probably, mm, I don't know, I gotta work on some things, my character. Yeah, so. So I'd probably. I know six. So how come I'm not supposed to think that's cocky? Because you ask us. Yeah. We I wasn't asked, planning yeah, to asked, say about you. it and well, brag about it. What them, makes bro. someone cocky? Yeah. Well, so this, cocky? well so this is a, the question, right? The question is asking if you know that there are men who definitely would rate themselves a 10, who definitely don't belong in that 10 category, even if you take all the package, right? The, the uh, bravado, whatever you want to call it. They definitely don't belong there. You would say that that's delusional, right? Not like, no, you're not no. the shit, bro. You're not the shit. You're full of shit, right? There's a false sense of confidence which comes with it. That's what bravado is, isn't it? No, you wouldn't I think say it's that? Confidence. Oh, so you've never, you've never run into men who give themselves kind of a. A if false they're assholes, then yeah, you're cocky because you think you're the shit and you think <coughs> you're above other people. I think when you think you're well, above know why somebody you, else, then that's cocky. But I when you're, I don't know why you can't be an asshole and not think that you're an ugly bastard. <laughs> like I don't, I don't see how these two things correlate at all. Like I don't see why you couldn't think that you're really, really, really ugly and said, still oh, be oh, a oh, fucking oh, jerk. <laughs> like I don't, I don't get that. I mean, yeah, you could be a jerk because you're really, really. Ugly. Yeah, sure. You could be an asshole for like 800 different reasons. It does, it has no requirement whatsoever to. I, just, I think cockiness is when you think you're above someone else based on any one of your traits. Right, you think you're above or, other women. Right, based on then that would your be traits. Cockiness. That well, that but do you agree that there has to be at least some women? who are going to rate themselves less than an 8.5 of their overall package. Yes. Okay, well then you're rating yourself over them, right? No, because I think you're rating yourself based on how you view yourself, not okay, comparison what about to your full packages? So how then, much oh, you rate yourself? Okay, so if that's true, then at Or at least you, hopefully, hopefully. That's, that's fair, so then you would say every woman at the table is a 10. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't, because I don't know. Hang on, hang on. You would say every woman at the table is a 10, right? 
I don't think I could rate them because I think oh, ratings, yeah. ratings are how you rate Whoa, yourself. Wait, wait. We rate I think they're beautiful yeah, women. I don't know, them well I know. Enough to rate a whole package. Well, you're not prettier than any of them. No. Oh, of course not. not. Yeah, of course not. <laughs> Do you think you're more attractive than these guys next no. to you? I think that this girl the most beautiful in this room. <laughs> yeah. But 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 I want you I want you to think about this objectively, right? You say you kind of you kind of put yourself in your own trap here. Mm -hmm. Say okay, cockiness is you thinking that you are in some way better looking or more beautiful or in some way above somebody else, mm -hmm. right? Well, this would mean that the least attractive woman on planet Earth, if you compared yourself to her, you would have to put yourself on par with her. How's that not delusional? No, I think it is. I think in some form we're all a little delusional. Yeah, I think that's the key difference. That's the key difference, yeah. yeah. And cockiness and delusion is the is the language error that we're having here. Because I think cocky generally means that you just kind of carry yourself like a bit of an asshole. Right, mm -hmm. but delusion mm -hmm. is thinking that you're much higher up than you actually are. But that's when I think you're starting to rate yourself in comparison to other people. But if you were to just like, let's say, I mean, you live. But how else would you rate yourself? If you so live alone on an your island, you look at yourself in a mirror and you're like, I'm pretty cool. Like I'm pretty. Yeah, odd. but like, but then you're only cool. but but if you were on an island, never saw another human being ever in your entire life. You wouldn't have anything to compare then, yourself to. Well, right. Then your subjective matters only to compare you to you because there is only you. Right. You don't live in that world. You live in a world. But that's my hang argument. On, hang on. That's my argument. My argument is is that the only thing from which you can, can compare yourself to is other people. There's nothing else you can compare it to. Okay. So if that is true, then I would say that you're going to judge and assess yourself based on the looks of all other people. Okay. I see. That's a good argument. Okay. Yeah. Let me think on that for a second. Okay. Because <laughs> that's good. That's good. Uh, we all answered to the question, what is our full package? But dudes did not. We yeah, have I to did. ask them. I did. I did answer. What is a full package? Oh, like the full package? Yeah, because we say oh, it like and guys know. Wait, wait, wait. Hang on. If you're talking about like charisma and awesomeness Everything. and epicness. He's, he's, he's oh, I'm a fucking 14. <laughs> okay, good. For sure. 14, you? maybe 15. Like there's not even a number on okay, that cool. scale. Amazing. I love it. Yeah, you? yeah, I'm just, I'm awesome. Bang, bang average sixes all around. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. And what about you? Uh, hmm. Maybe like a six. I'm a solid six, I'd say maybe. Like, yeah, yeah, six, probably, probably. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I like six. Six is a good number. <laughs> you like six? <laughs> 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 Bathroom check. Bathroom check. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she was talking about inches. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Um, oh, also we have a question related to this. Uh, Shall we? Will you be better looking in 10 years' time? <laughs> better looking in 10 years' time? Wh what does it mean, better looking when in 10 years' time? When you're 46, will you be better looking than you are right now? God, I hope. Do you think you will realistically? I can realistically. I can. <clears throat> okay, so you're 36 now. Will you be better looking at 56? No. Well, at 56, better than now, no. But better looking at 46. It can be, yeah, if okay. I switch to some and then diet. Were you better looking at 26 than you are now at 36? I've been completely different face. I did so many plastic surgery on my face. It's just different go. Everything was different. So yeah, the so fact yeah. that you did the plastic and surgeries maybe because you... Oh, because of my childhood drama, of course. All that shit, all this tattoo on my, me uh, just because I... Got fucked up when I've been a kid, of course. No, no girls will do it because. So better looking at 26 or? 26, I've been looking bad already. <laughs> uh, but no, no, a little bit better than 26, we can say. Mm -hmm. And the 26, I have tattoo <coughs> here right. and here and here uh, and here. So you're 18, better looking at 28? Uh, I'm actually not sure because I feel like my insecurities they come and go. Mm -hmm. There's if I'm in a better mental state, I feel better about myself overall. Sure. If I'm stressed out, if I'm going through a hardship, I'm going to feel poorly about myself. So I feel like it really depends. About well, so it's not so much how you feel, but uh, just your, your physical appearance looks. Well, I feel like sometimes my physical appearance is better when I'm happier. All things removed, though. Just okay. everything's the same. Physically, do you think you'll be better or worse? Um. Are you going to peak? Are your looks going to peak at 28? As compared to now, I guess. Um, I don't know what a peak is, but... Like, um, the best you're ever going to look. 28? 
Maybe. I don't know how my life will go. It depends on like, how track my life goes. It, let's just say, right, mm. that you were to make this deal. Yeah. Where uh, a genie could make you 10 years older. Yeah. However, you would have no physical... <laughs> Um. Mike Davis donated two hundred dollars. Oh, hey, Mike Keep Davis. Keep females away from me. I've tried to see the good side, but I'm done with these <laughs> disgusting creatures. Aye, Remember, aye. Eve caused Adam to eat from the tree and is the root of all evil. Cancel me, Mike Davis. Thank you for the uh, TTS, man. Um, well, go do go do corn and that? have a bad political huh? take. Go get canceled. Apparently. Thank you. <laughs> Are you hate well, girls? Okay, hold on. <laughs> Are you also hate women? Um, <laughs> I, just, I need to. I need to hear you guys like yeah. respond to that. Yeah, please. We all want. I was thanking him for the contribution. It doesn't okay. necessarily mean that I'm co-signing what he's saying. Okay, but what are your thoughts? Like, can I just hear a response? I just I want to hear. Yeah, a I don't give a shit what he thinks. Yeah, <laughs> like it's totally up to him. It doesn't uh, doesn't, doesn't bother me. Wait, wait oh, hold on. you know what? It okay, hang on, hang on. I'm sorry. Mike, you gross misogynist, no, you piece of was, human filth. If your filth. wife were sitting next to you right now and some guy was like, <laughs> disgusting women, keep them away well, from me. <laughs> And you look, though, yo, yo, yo. I don't you know, should, I just think that's like general. You that's should, sexist. You, you, should, you, should, you should have a conversation with her should sometime. Do a cameo? <laughs> no, I don't is she think watching? she can. Yeah, is she watching? She is. Rachel, are you in the chat? Yeah, she's watching. Let's fucking call in. Yeah, I'm not think. saying, like, that's Wait, not she's just streaming? Your, I mean, mm -hmm. your wife to you is like the Let me see most if she's streaming. amazing person. But like, I'm just saying, I don't know, that was like a really horrible thing to Is she I don't. I don't think so. I think that. You don't think that was a horrible comment? No, I don't. I think that. Oh, she is. Okay, hold on. I think that people. All right, we'll get her in. Oh, go ahead, Andrew. I think that people base, that up, private chat. base things around perception. And so if the perception, the sample size of what you're getting is just like endless amounts of kind of narcissistic nonsense. I think that people... Are well, go ahead, go ahead, and then we'll pull her in. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, and, and this type of thing. Uh, yeah, I can, I can understand why tons of men end up with a pretty bad opinion of women mm. for the same reason that feminist indoctrination, like what, what you guys go through, you end up with these terrible kind of opinions of men okay. which you really yeah. shouldn't have at all okay, right? no, I've, yeah. we'll get into that but rachel we're gonna get rachel here so uh rachel if you're listening you need to mute our audio on your end okay and then you can say whatever you have to say and we're pulling you in via the just your stream so if you want to uh that's gonna not work well i think it might work she's gonna be super delayed it's like, it's, it's like well, there's not going to be there's not going to be back and forth, but she'll be able to say one statement. Okay. So go ahead. Video tab. Um, I still Wait, live. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Pretty significant. Okay. Here, put it live. Click the live. No. Wait. A one statement. Okay. So so go ahead. Video tab. Um, I still wow, this is hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Pretty significant. Okay. Here, put it live. Click the live. Wait, so right? No. Wait. A one statement. Okay. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. Pretty significant. Okay. Here, put it live. Click the live. Wait, what so the right? fuck? <laughs> Wait, what the hell, bro? How will I be able to hear you, Brian? If I mute you on my end, you won't be able to. Okay. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's not gonna, dude. Oh this Lord. is this is no good, bro. <laughs> no, no. If she, okay, wait, this is how hell, it works. Uh, Inception. Is, wait, pause it. Pause it. If if she mutes the audio that she's uh, like on her end from our stream, she won't be able to hear you. It's the way it's set up. And no, but she doesn't have to hear us because she just comes in, says her piece, oh, and yeah, then that's yeah. it. Yeah. So she just mutes the audio. Okay, so we have to give her like piece. ten seconds of silence. And so Rachel, what you do? Is we're just gonna pull you up the second you see yourself on the screen, right? Well, just mute it right now. Yeah, you give just your, mute yeah, right mute now. Mute it Go right ahead. now. The second you see yourself on the screen here, just give your statement. Okay, pull it up, please. You got. Hold on. You got to click live. Yeah. yeah. Right now, the yeah, second you see the screen okay, here. Let's see. I just don't know what they statement. want me to say. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering the same thing. <laughs> okay. Go ahead and uh, there we go. Okay. give them your take to the whatever audience. Okay, Mr. E is in my ear and I can hear him. What is it that you guys wanted to ask me? How and he'll oh. me. Hmm. Like, what do you want my commentary on? Well, you were making a comment about, about what if your what if his wife was here? Is that how I sound? Yeah, there was right. one comment right. from one dude where he said that all the woman is evil, and these two dudes was like. 
basically yeah someone sent a comment saying women are disgusting this is why adam told eve to eat the whatever like cancel cancel me hmm. i want out of this world and i was basically like okay I'm just i just wanted the response what are they asking Oh, but yes, because then I said... She, she can't she, hear you. I'm um, just listening on the stream. She has to get it related Hang on, Mr. Mystery is going to tell her. I think they were just trying to get a comment from you so you could say something to the girls. Oh, gosh. Okay, did they hear me ask what... Uh, yeah. I don't know what okay. they want me to comment on specifically. Yeah. The body count thing? Or? It's bug oh, boys. All right. It's bug boys. It's bug boys. It's bug boys. It's bug boys. Right. Boy. Send in the super all chats because right, it's it. bug boys. <laughs> All right, so we tried. We tried. Yeah, we tried. We, we tried. tried. It's difficult. There's a delay. There's a delay. It's difficult. Okay, so oh my God. all right. Uh, so okay, don't disagree. I don't agree with uh, what Mike Davis says here. <laughs> I do. He sent in two hundred dollars. I'm gonna thank the guy. I'm gonna thank him, even if I disagree with what he has to say. And then uh, also, um, and Andrew, I think, was pointing out, don't women say shit like this? all the fucking time yeah, that men are exactly. trash yes. we don't need men i'd rather wait question would you rather be alone or would you rather come across in the forest a, a man or, or a, a bear man. which do you pick a bear ah and yes, so I get you're that. a misandrist mm -hmm. you're a man hater i'm not a man hater let I me tell you I why trust. because let me ask you think there's a there's a your risk assessment here is that you're going to get essayed by men to the point where you would rather be in the forest with a wild bear than with a man. Is that correct? Is that fair? Sure. Okay, so what percentage of men do you think in this, in this situation would choose to victimize you? What percentage of men? What do you mean? You, okay, in this hypothetical, you choose bear over man, right? Mm -hmm. So your risk assessment would seem to indicate that you think a high percentage of men. Oh, I see, okay. Maybe so what percentage of men would victimize you? I'm not sure I can come up with the percentage because my Take a guess. my well, let me just say first my reason for coming to this conclusion of a bear is because when I first think of yeah, I guess risk assessment, I would I, rather yeah. take my chances with well, I can run the I actually have an experiment for this. Wait, but l yeah, let me ahead. just No, okay. I want I want to hear this. Hold on. No, 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 let's finish this really quick. Okay. How what percentage of men do you think would victimize you in this scenario? <coughs> I know the answer. Oh, there's like a statistical answer. No, it's 50-50 always. Oh my. <laughs> what do you what Why do you don't we let her answer? 40%. Mm. Okay, so knowing that the adult male pot, well, the male population of the United States is something like I think 160 million, 40%, what would what would that be? That would be uh, not quite 80 million men. Let's say Sorry, it's let me change that. So you think seventy million? You think seventy million men in the United States would choose to? Uh, no, because I changed it to thirty percent. Still, I still find this incredibly objectionable, incredibly objectionable, because there's currently one, two, three, four, five men. Sorry, my math's fucking terrible. In the studio. Okay, so two of the men in the studio are rapists. Is that what you're saying? I'm not saying they're rapists. I'm just saying I'd probably rather be in a forest with a bear than men that I don't know or trust because I could end up getting... I mean, it's even like a conversation. Sometimes I just don't Have you ever had a one-night stand? Yes. How many one-night stands have you had? One. Hmm. Interesting how that works. Um, what do you mean by that? Well, I mean, you 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 were alone with a man. Yeah, I'm not saying, I'm, just I'm, not saying I'm okay with that or that I like... It was a great decision. I regret it. Right, but right. it was consensual. Right? Yeah. Okay. It's just interesting. Women will like hook up with the dudes, meet up with them, no issues. You pass by hundreds, if not thousands, of men all the time. None of them do anything to you. But you have this bias against men. That's interesting. I don't have a bias. It's absolutely. Hold on. <clears throat> How is it not a bias where you think? 30% of men, and you ori originally said 40, you think 30% of men are inclined to violence or sexual assault towards you? Yeah. 
Living on this core donated $200. That's a bias. Big old Brian, oh, it'll work, Andrew. <laughs> Proceeds to be the worst moment in technology <laughs> history. Tom won't spike his drink with Ozempic. Andrew oh, yeah. just Thank wins you. debates. BC, he's hot. Yeah. Okay, that's, I that's dispense Ozempic if you need it. <laughs> uh, yeah, they're laughing that. back there. <laughs> oh, there's another one coming through. We have another one coming through. The Living, thank you, man, for the TTS. Appreciate yeah, thanks, it. Living. We'll come back to it here in just a sec, but Noah... Has one coming in. Thank you, Noah. Appreciate it. Noah donated two hundred dollars. Women says that she hates men. You go, girl. Slay queen. Man says he hates women, and everyone loses their minds. Mm. Can I? Seems like Schrodinger's sure. feminist to me. We should to lock I, the chasm. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I would Let like to speak. separate the bear versus man argument with my my dislike towards his comment because I'm not coming from a, a place of like all men, like I hate all men, because that's not how I feel. I think a lot of men are great and awesome, but I also think that that's a totally different comment to make to say. Wait, like you think I, all men are inclined to violence, murder, no, and SA? No, 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 not all men. Okay, I just think more, me. more men than more. Forty percent. Okay, more men. men than women. I would but, take but my it's, chances. It's more enough, men than a bear. But what? it's more enough. Men than a bear. Hold on. <laughs> But even though the percentage chance of you being with a man who wouldn't do these things is greater, it's enough men, enough men yeah. that you would rather take a path that lands you in a forest not with a man. Mike Davis said, I've tried to see the good side of women, but I'm done with these disgusting creatures, right? And he says, keep females away from me. Isn't this just sort of essentially the mirror of what you're saying by picking the bear. No. You it absolutely is. Yes, it yes, absolutely yes. is. Yes. All right, then sure, he's valid in his comment. Great. I think what he said was awesome, and I do think... Why aren't any of the ladies disavowing your statement? <laughs> yeah, what do you mean? You think 30% of men would be inclined to violence towards you? I don't know the statistics. That's just how I feel. That's I feel how. Like yes, that's how you feel. Okay. It's so still an objectionable how thing. How many men are in prison because of SA? A lot. <laughs> How many, what? though? A lot. Exactly. Yeah. The better question so what percentage is why of men are in jail? Oh, it's a very low percentage. My thing 30. is, I I think more men are worse than more women, but does that does not make Whoa. the majority of men. That's a sexist that statement. That does not make. Oh, wait. Not worse. Men, I think less. More, I'm taking. You're taking. You, you're saying there's more worse men than there are worse women. More men have done, have done essay, have done murders, have done rapes compared to women right. it's statistically proven i don't know the statistics off the top of my head but that does not mean that i think that m the majority of wow, men are evil disgusting this, apex, this, is, this is an apex fallacy first of all for, for, so okay criminality is a very very small proportion of the of population the actually do wrong, so to right. say that i'm going to have this sort of blanket assessment of men due to a small proportion of some men's criminality you, you're attributing to the group the uh, actions of a small fraction this would be the same argument towards racism so Can that would be the same argument you would make Can in reverse elaborate? for racism. yeah sure so if you were to say okay a small percentage of the population, which happens to be this race, conducts X amount of crimes, you would immediately look for ulterior reasons why they were criminals absent the race, right? Okay. But I how come you won't do that when it comes to men, right? Okay. No, that's, that's a good argument. Yeah, wouldn't that be this? It's the same thing in reverse, mm -hmm. isn't it? I think on that one, too. You're, you're coming back with some good arguments, I'll say. It's so sad that you feel scared by such a broad sense of the men. This is so sad. <laughs> And actually, the better question is like, like, why the young woman feels like that? Why she scares of the 30% of the men? Because they've been the indoctrinated planet. and brainwashed. Sure. Or maybe because it's happened be before. Yeah. In the past. Maybe it's happened. Like personally, to you? like. Yes. Yeah. Family. This is a good question. You yeah, know, but it's right? uh, we don't want to be scared of you. Even we don't want. Yeah. Even, even if it were to have happened to everybody here we at the table. We want to love each other. Hang on. Even if it were to have happened to everybody at this table, that every woman here was in some way assaulted by a man in a sexual way, and none of the men here were ever sexually assaulted by a woman in any way, that would mean nothing. How? That, that we would That's not, not be, just coincidence. We that would not be able to, we, we, how would you ever extrapolate that into anything? So it's just, just coincidence this that if all the women here were essayed, that they would just happen to be here at the same it's time, anecdotal. and all the men that hadn't were here as well? Well, I mean, it, okay. <laughs> well, let's, well, let's think about it for a second, right? Um, <clears throat> there's more women here than there are men, right? Yeah. Okay. Why is that? Is there a reason for it? Because you want to argue with us? 
<laughs> well, so that men in the whatever, comments can well, see we're discussing. Whatever, whatever the reason is, right, there's definitely reasons behind why that is the case, right? So you're saying if all of us were essayed, we're Like you wouldn't just say you're all here coincidentally. And I wouldn't just say all the men are here coincidentally. So like we're there here was mechanisms. We're delusional is well, what you're saying. no, I'm saying there's mechanisms which moved us all into place, right? But what does right. And so the question is, is like even yeah. if all of this had happened, right? It doesn't give us or give us a tell as to the mechanism for why it happened, right? Could be with this particular sample size, for instance, that because you're all around the same age group, you're more prone and in a propensity to be in situations where such a thing does happen. Whereas we could get the same exact group of women from a different demographic. Right, he speaks then about they have, our job. And they have absolutely none of those things, right? So you can't really just kind of say, well, even if it had happened to everybody here, that we could extrapolate that out to mean something meaningful. It's because I mean, we are beautiful and because we are whores. Yeah, that's no, I'm not probably a I'm not. I'm not. I mean, like, but something you're not talking attitude. about is that men are essayed by women too, and there's a very high percentage of that. Yes, there is. So, like, when we're generalizing, far more than is far more than is ever talked about. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. if we're generalizing each gender and just saying, basically, you guys are saying women have it worse. Like that is what I'm hearing, and yeah, women have it bad, but so do men. And men are more likely to, you know, because that things aren't spoken about and it is hmm. so highly, it happens so much with men and it's just not spoken about. And it's just passed over like it's nothing. Well, that, that's certainly a fair point. Um, but uh, did you get an answer from on this or? Uh, well, no, no, not really. I was just saying, so but this just from my brain, right, is like, if you say, well, could this all just be coincidence that all of us here that, yeah, it could, right? Because there's gonna be mechanisms which drive things. And so that's why when we do sample sizes, you pull them from different demographics, different backgrounds, different, you know what I mean? That way you can draw commonalities um, so that you can extract data correctly. Like just, you know, a few women sitting at a table who say, this is my experience, even if all the experiences map up, it doesn't actually tell us anything. I, I do wanna ask a question. How, well, like, how could it? How like could you could agree that I could set out I, that even if this thing, a bad thing, had happened to every single woman here, that we could take a completely different, even random sample size from the street and put the same exact women here, and it's more than possible that nothing ever happened to any of them. I wouldn't say yeah, it's more than possible. Yeah, you, it's not. Yes, I it's, say it's possible. More than possible. Why? I, mean, I don't know. Let's just why is it not more? Why? It, I'm sorry. What in the world would make that not possible? Can possible. I like get my phone to do a fact check because I've seen st somewhere a statistic that says like it's over half of women that have been essayed or whatever. By Even if that's true, let's say it was ninety percent, you could still draw randomly from the street, get a same right. nine sample, and still not one of those women had ever been essayed. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. Yes. So we can't. So that's why I'm saying you can't draw like kind of those conclusions when you say, "Is that just a coincidence?" Well, yeah, it could be. It could literally just be a coincidence, of course. Okay. You can yeah. have fears like, from personal know. experience. Wait. She wasn't arguing that. I do no, she was. She said, is that just a coincidence? I don't is think. That, is that just a What does that mean? What is, 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 is that just a coincidence? So you're, like, you're, nitpicking, you're nitpicking on little words. Uh, no, it's not a nitpick. Well, yes. How is it a nitpick? She just said it like that and you just catch it so. Yeah, you, you catch that one thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Damn, that yeah. bastard. Yeah. Like, yeah. like, There's do, much, much hold on, do you realize that people, people's this. thought patterns, the way that they think, and the way that they discuss things, yeah. they hinge on pillars. Mm -hmm. And pillars are usually assumptions, right? They hinge on assumptions. Yeah. So yes, I lock in on the hinge, the pillar that holds the idea wait, wait, up. Wait, 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 wait. I'm oh, sorry, really? I have to interrupt this. I, I don't like to let certain things just slide. What was the stat that you just quoted? Well, I asked if I could pull it up. I don't have that you th You said you think it's over 50% of women. I think, I, I, think I know the stat she's referring to. It's like you, it's like at colleges, they say over 50% of women well, have no, been sexually assaulted. Have but, then, but then when you look into it, it's like... Why don't you tell us what you heard? I, I told you I don't have it off the top of my head. I have to what look it up. But it's something about it like is. half or more than half of women. Have been what? Essayed or raped or... What? So when you say essay, what does that include? Anything unconsensual that is where they've been touched without that. So if a man were to tap, what do you mean? What is that? If a man were to tap a woman on the shoulder, is that essay? No. It's unconsensual. Not sexual. Okay. Yeah. So it's, it's so well. Yeah. Like. Do you know about sexual touching? I have a question. Um, hmm. Sexual touching without consent. Yes. And much of that can be perception. It could be harassment. Could well, be hang that. on. But much of that could be perception. So, like, let me give you an example. 
if a, if a guy sitting at a party is drinking, a woman walks over and just like randomly starts rubbing his shoulders, right? I've seen this many times. Um, nobody's, nobody says shit, right? However, that's definitely sexual touching. He definitely hasn't consented to it, it's just nobody gives a shit. Mm-hmm. Let's switch it. A woman sitting at a party, right, doesn't know the guy, he, run, he walks over and just starts rubbing her shoulders. Do you, do you think that that would become problematic? I think it's odd, but I personally, if some guy did that to me, I'd just be like, what? Like, I don't know. Would, to me, that wouldn't but be, if like, a woman, scarring. Sure. But if a woman said, okay, wait a second, that, that, was, that was sexual touching without my consent, would you agree with her? I wouldn't agree with her, but I wouldn't look her in the face and say... You wouldn't, ta- you wouldn't say no, right? I you wouldn't would. say no. And so that's, that's the distinction that's yeah. being talked about here is that, wait a second... The reason we clarify these terms and we want them specific is because it's very clear to me that when women in an unwanted way touch men, just nobody gives a shit. They just don't care. No, and I agree with you. I think yeah, yeah. I'm not trying to minimize mm. the amount of essay that men experience. Like, yeah, yeah right. But 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 this way the classification matters because I'm not sure I would consider that essay, right? No, <laughs> it, I mean I agree with you. Yeah, I'm right. Just saying I'm d- not trying to minimize. But you realize how many of these kind of like tortured studies and stats that you would look at, where the assumption of essay is, is that they would consider those categories, even though they maybe don't belong there. Even worse, like wolf wolf whistling is. In some and if I I will well. touch you now when we will go to smoke a cigarette, this is called as AIDS as well. You realize you like so when you went back there to smoke a cigarette, did you note that I took a wide path, went all the way around you, never went anywhere near you, and came in just to avoid such such uh, a thing from even happening? No, I didn't. Say I know that. you don't have to worry about it. <laughs> That's the difference. I love it. You watch your bag, bro. You don't no, have to go smoke a cigarette. <laughs> you don't have to worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that but was guess just what? But guess what? We will we call do. it as a we, sexual on, assessment. Hang on, hang on, hang on. It's called or no? We do. We do have to worry about it. Uh, will it's called a sexual assessment or no? Mm-hmm. I, I mean, who knows? Who? But because the, cri- because the criteria is, mm-hmm. because the criteria is so gray, it's not really known to me or clear to me what could be considered <laughs> assault or. Living on this court donated two hundred dollars. Holy crap. I've technically been essayed Bro. several times in you my know, life. You by probably women. have. I don't report any of them. Society doesn't notice casual women essaying. Also, bear versus black man, or black man versus white man. I'm more scared of a white man. I love white man. Why would you be more scared of a white so man? So now, not only are you sexist, but you're also racist. Yeah. Just really instant by category. But, but you see what I mean when I say, like, it's not... When you, when you ask the question to me, it's not altogether clear without very specific criteria uh, as to what that could even mean because I think that, yes, I could be brought up on charges for potentially brushing up against a woman even without having any untoward anything towards her. I just happened to not, not think twice. I was just walking by, brushed up against her. Do I think it's within the realm of possibility? <laughs> I do. And that's the part men always have to think about that seems like women as they think that men are hyper predatory right and now the distance has just the gap has grown and grown and grown you know why it's growing yeah it's not your turn hang on so <laughs> this is this is why right now now that we have to think about that all the time you see this distance and this gap widen and it's okay. specifically because if you if you look at it like the example i gave with the shoulder rubbing right you're like right. Yeah, no, that's really not SA. But if she said it was, you're like, I would tell her no. And so that's why it's not altogether clear to me. It really is. Also, isn't. We, we had a girl on the show. I think you were on this panel, Andrew. Uh, well, I had a girl on the show take off her you know, clothes well, and no. like to assault me with her. With her yeah, so well, whatever. That's, that's not what I was going to talk about. But um, <laughs> there was a girl yeah. who, s- who was, we were having this conversation, and she said there was a study done here at the local university, and that. Uh, it included catcalling that fell within the purview of SA. Yeah, mm-hmm. I was on that show, I think. Or were you on that yeah. show? So I, I find these studies that they do, it includes all sorts of things, all the way from sub, you know, benign or su- you know, mild harassment, all the way to like forcible violent rape. And I find like encapsulating all of those things into this sort of nebulous term essay is not particularly helpful. It, it inflates the numbers. I agree. I'm not on purpose. With right, but like when we're having this conversation and it's it's uh, I suppose sort of some sort of framing where 
you're saying like the the listener is going to interpret over 50 percent of women are at like full-blown forcibly in the fucking they're walking down a staircase somewhere some random man just starts beating them up and like rapes them that's not what i said okay well i'm just curious and i don't know if this is a bit inappropriate of a question but i think y'all were like you were saying like i bet every single woman here at this table has been essayed i didn't say that you said you were though right right okay so uh just i'm just curious i'm not gonna ask the details who here has been essayed okay (laughs) wait sorry just show of hands again Oh, it's a, it's a, you're wondering. How oh many times? This is hold on. Oh, that's crazy. Well, no, bro. here's the thing. You can't use that as an argument because because a lot of women feel feel not validated in, in what it is. That's right. They feel. Wait, I do have a follow up oh, question. Oh, they feel. It's not proven. I do. I do it have a follow up question. Some of them hold feel on. not. Allow me. Allow me to do the follow up question first. Stop. Not. Stop. Stop. Okay. Those of you who raised your hand, did you go to the police? No. Couldn't. No. 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 Did you? Yes, you went to the police. Does that mean it didn't? Wait, happen? hold on. Is this the guy who the the choking thing? Hmm. There's a separate incident. There was a, okay. And then did you go to the police? Mm-hmm. Okay. That was it. That was my question. And so you're saying because we didn't go to the police? It no, didn't, didn't I'm not saying happen. anything. I don't know what happened what or what that didn't. What is that proving? Well, I just, so, so a lot of men don't go and to did you go to the yeah, police? Yeah, so I'll tell you. I'll tell you the term, right? I know they would laugh me out of the building. <laughs> Right. They'd laugh me out of the building, even though it was clear on video. So they they would laugh me. Serious. They would laugh me out of the building. It's not. It's not even. It's not even an option for us. But the oh, thing is, right. is like, right. so to so to kind of dive into this, all, all Brian's trying to say is like, if you have this kind of hyperinflated number, which would include things like catcalling or things which clearly are not sexual separate. assault, right? Uh, these should be in kind of totally different categories, and the reason they're put into the same is to inflate the number, thus making men look far more predatory than they actually are. So if that is the case, then and you can even see like kind of with your raw raw feminism that pops out really quick. I say I have a raw raw. Well, feminism. you did, and I'll explain. I'll explain where I saw it. I'll explain. I'll explain the exact moment that I saw the raw raw feminism. It was when Brian or when I said. Yes, I feel, and you and you would. Well, are you going to invalidate? Well, yeah, and here's why: you have to invalidate feelings for proof and evidence with clear criteria. Because otherwise, how do we get the actual number, right? You could like, I couldn't just say, "Do you feel like you were essayed?" Right. I mean, then in, in court it wouldn't hold up. But well, I don't it's think not that just in you court. Look someone in the face and say, the, "Well, then it didn't happen." But it can't. But it can't really hold up external to that either, because you're a number who would never make it into the stats absent court, right? Because you never went to court. So then, so then, but you would be counted in this number. So how would we prove that? How could we falsify that other than you can't, you can't, can't right? You can't. So this is why when people say believe all women, it sounds to me like fucking. I don't absurd. think that's true. No, I, I disagree. It, yeah, with it that sounds to me like a abs- total right. absurdity because it's like by your kind of your own metrics, you invalidate the very thing that we're supposed to believe. Well, then, do you not feel that there's a discrepancy between the? in the categories of what essay is, um, mm-hmm. you know, you even said like it's a shoulder rubbing. So that, do you not think there's like a kind of an equal number of the people who are counted in that statistic who weren't actually, or you know, it wasn't as intense or something that we wouldn't consider essay compared yeah. to the number of women who aren't actually counted is, in that statistic? Yeah, so this is a really difficult question because uh, we're talking about soft sciences. Science is only as effective as right. you have controls. Right. And that's why hard science works really well and why the replication crisis affects soft mm-hmm. sciences so badly. And so without great controls, which means great criteria, we're just speculating Mm -hmm. ultimately, right? right? And so that's why when I hear kind of these tortured numbers thrown out of, Mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, most men could be predatory or most women have experienced SA and this Mm -hmm. and that, it seems to me that that's not very clear and that the controls are not very good and that we're mostly going off of self-reports, not court reports. And so, yeah, I'm I'm just not willing to kind of concede that that's true, right? Okay. And, and I mean, I don't, you seem reasonable. I don't even think you would, yeah. right? If, that, if you find out that, that is indeed the case, wouldn't you kind of have to like readjust your positioning and thought process around it? Can you uh, or specify, re- re- restate your question? Yeah, like, so sh- like if, if you found it. out that, wait, there's really soft controls here and we can't really know, we don't really know. We don't really know the answer okay, to these yeah, questions. Maybe. maybe then I would reconsider. Yeah. yeah. That's all I'm asking okay, you to do yeah. is just like reconsider possible the, the opposite possibility 
that there's perhaps been a lot of brainwashing designed specifically to be divisive, to make men look. Why do you think they would want to make men look worse? Well, because I think that uh, a lot of these control studies are done by very progressive and very feminist operated universities. And I think that they're not trying to solve for a real hard scientific answer, but rather they're trying to only get at the heart of kind of the ideology that they're trying to promote. And so they'll make the data fit the ideology rather than moving the ideology around the data. Okay. <coughs> we can believe on it. What's that? We can believe on it. Yeah, it sounds <coughs> realistic, right? I don't want to <coughs> quite lay off quite yet. You said something <laughs> about white men. What was the statement there? You you said you would. Ah, uh, she's scared of the white dudes more. You said you'd be I think scared of white if black I guys. were given two random men, one was black and one was white, and I was. I'm not saying that. Say. Okay, I don't think you can be racist towards a white person. I will say that. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Okay. Um, <laughs> but so, so you would prefer what? A black man over a white man. To be. Like in the same room with. In the to same trust. Room with. To be in the forest. Oh, you're agreeing with me. Yeah. Okay, I thought you were going to disagree. <laughs> no, I was going to Oh, no, I agree, of course. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, wait, so hold on. Because they harmless. Here, let's explore the. Yeah. Like, it's a harmless. Hold on, hold well, on. I don't on, think anyone's hold on. harmless. Uh, why is it's more dangerous? Yeah, of course. <laughs> all the wait, can I ask you a question? Also a couple things. So okay, so if we were to. I'm scared. <laughs> if, if someone was to say, I would feel more comfortable in a room with a white person over a black person, would that be a racist statement? Unfortunately. Yes. <laughs> you, can't, you can't use the argument, though, about, right. because there's a whole history behind that. Yeah, Wait, so what? What do you mean? What do you mean, so well, what? Well, let's, just, let's assume. I mean, white, well, the white man has, has always been the oppressor, regardless. Oh sure, well, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna grant it. I wanna have this conversation. Like, I'm, li I'm literally just gonna grant it. I'm gonna, I'm, in fact, we'll just pretend that, um, that black men and women were freed only yesterday, 24 hours ago, okay? They've only, 24 hours they've had their freedom, okay? How would this statement in any way make sense to say, I would feel more comfortable in a room with a black man versus a white man, or a white man versus a black man? Uh, how is that not a preconceived notion still based around race? Can you condense that question again? How is it not a preconceived notion still based around race to say I would feel more comfortable around this racial group than this one. How's that not I a think it's a racial notion, but I don't I, I just think because my belief that yeah. you can't be racist Experience. against a white person. Yeah, I know that that's your belief. To but what is it founded on? I just I just granted that it was just yesterday. It's it just it just, just on only his, happened yeah. yesterday. I mean, that makes it even more valid. I sure, think. sure, but what's the validity though of saying I have a pre conceived notion about a racial group and so therefore based on the preconceived no hang on, hang on, let me finish the question first. Okay. Based on the preconceived notion of this racial group, mm -hmm. I select this one because I think that I'll be safer around them. Mm -hmm. But if you flip it and say, okay, but, but I, agree, I agree with that, just for me it's whites. In what world would that not be racial on both ends or racist on both ends? Maybe, okay, maybe it is a little... Maybe Prejudice, it, is that... Maybe, but I, mean, I don't think. Hold on, let me. I, I just. We'll, we'll pursue this, I, but really I quick, just think really power, quick. Power, power dynamics have a lot to do with it. Hold on, really quick though, really quick. Okay, let's remove the term racism from this, <laughs> and let's talk about what you find objectionable. So, do you think if somebody would rather be in a room alone with a black person over a white person, is this an objectionable position to hold? Which is, it's your position, by the way. Is I'm, it is it objectionable? Is what? Is what is the okay, objection? I'm sorry. Hold it's on. a lot to pro I mean, it's like I, you're I talking pretty fast. I'm okay. not that like smart like, like you guys. Okay, so do you find it objectionable for somebody, and this is your position, for somebody to say, I would rather be in a room alone with a black person over a white person? Objectionable? Yes. Wait, objectionable. I'm sorry. I'm so like you object to your I, own I position. Oh, what does mean objectionable? No, 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 no. no. Hold like on. I've been, I've been on the no, 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 no. Don't, don't weasel your way out of this one, okay? Do you think it's problematic, that position? What position? <sighs> Just Bro. What, your, your position. I'm where, sorry. Where you, where I'm you losing said focus, it's, and it's hard it's for me to stay on yeah, top I, I understand. I feel like I've been on the spotlight for a bit now, and well, I just feel like we can move on for a second. We're exploring your worldview. So, okay, I'll repeat the question. I'll try to make it as simple as possible. Okay, so you said 
you would feel more comfortable with a black man over a white man. I did say that. You yes. said that. Okay. Um, and you you don't think that statement is objectionable, correct? No, I think it is a little bit. Okay. Um, but then do you think it's more objectionable to say, I would rather be with a white person over a black person? Is that a more objectionable position? If I ask you to repeat the question, you're just going to roll your eyes, and I'm telling yeah, you, I've told you four that, times yeah. already, I need to, like, we can go back to me, but I just need, like, a like a break, because I can't keep focusing. I'm, like, I feel like my energy, my focus has been sustained, and I need to take a break, so please respect that. Do you want a Red Bull or something? <laughs> or an energy drink? <laughs> you can take a little breather if you need. Is that... I just want to say, I'm that, not really quit. sure She's why gone. people... Oh, wait. Wait, are you leaving? No, she's okay. Don't. You can take a break if you want. That's fine. If you need a little breather on, that's fine. Wait, what happened? It's not all good. Don't worry. I just, I, you can is be racist cognitive, towards anybody. Is that cognitive it's not fair dissonance? Is that, that um, what that's, happened? That's what that looks like. It's very people. painful. Yeah. So cognitive, cognitive dissonance is always very painful for people, and that's what happens. They get very emotional. They, they cr even men. Physical response. Even men, it becomes a very physical response when their worldview collides with reality. <laughs> but then why we scare of the white dudes more than the black dudes? It's Wait, because okay, of our go. experience. All right. I don't even know why okay. race is in the question, though. Like, I, why does it matter what the ethnicity is? Well, if your whole point is that what she was saying was that she thinks that she would take the bear over a man, if you feel that way, why is race even an issue? She just said she'd rather choose a bear over a man in general. Because of her experience, do you understand? Right, because of her experience. Her here, guys. Let's not do you talk guys about understand her. Stop, it or stop, no? stop, stop. Let's not talk about her while she's gone. Uh, I'm going to read a couple chats. Uh, we have Techno tr Trooper. How does the trend of non-college educated men leaving the workforce combined with declining college enrollment impact their dating desirability and what new values might become more important? Why am I supposed to know that? How does the trend of non-college educated men leaving the workforce combined with co declining college enrollment impact their it dating? It means that men are going into trades and they're not going to college and women still are, so how's that going to impact dating going forward? Uh, not I'm not sure. Her. It's like a question about hypergamy. Think guys going into trades and I don't know if the girls are going to be able to college educated. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Wait, you got to make them make them um, like make them more palatable. Yeah, make, make them more digestible. palatable. Yep. Um, I, I guess I could try to reframe it like, would you prefer to date a guy who has a college degree? It doesn't matter. Prefer um, a guy who has a college degree? I like Or in college? Okay. Just to be cool. Yeah, I like knowledge, but I don't think like a college education is required. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, okay. Trade jobs are just as good. All right, too. we have, uh, who cares? A bear is an animal with animal instincts, by the way. You will be mauled by the bear, just like Leonardo DiCaprio in The Revenant. Man's instinct is survival, a.k.a. find shelter. Uh, who cares? Thank you very much. Appreciate the message. <coughs> we have... Uh, what you? What's going on with you, bro? Get get this chick a fucking energy drink too. What the fuck? Because he don't speak about serious topics. Let's open oh some serious God. topics. Okay. Oh, you want to get back to the gang bang? Fucking yeah. double <laughs> penetration. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. No. I always take Hold women seriously who have anal slut written on their arm. Every she time. wants to talk about the serious topics. <laughs> yeah, serious topics. The serious. Anal Stop slut. mocking me. I'm really saying about serious topics. Okay. You all right, let me mockings. read. Okay, yeah, all right. Uh, why don't you stay chipper and uh, whatever? Okay. If you were essayed and did not report while you aren't at fault for it done to you, you do share fault if he hurts another woman. You should have to look oh her God. in the eyes and say you're a coward. All right. Peacecraft. There you have it. Thank you for the uh, message. And then over here, we have... Wait, did I send a private chat? Uh, let's see. You even treat me like a whore just because of my tattoo, and you don't, don't treat even. Treat you how you act. Oh God, you don't you even. Care. Bro, you're oh on God. fucking That's camera. Why you're on about fucking camera. You're guys. the one being disrespectful on camera, like, oh, I'm so fucking bored. Stop talking about how we're treating you. You're fucking not conducting yourself properly. Be chipper. I relax. I don't say that I'm perfect, bro. Oh, okay. Call me bro. All right. Bro, look. I don't. 
<laughs> claim to be the perfect, okay? I know I'm a bad Sorry that you bitch. didn't get attention while we were talking to her <laughs> for 10 minutes. But yeah, you're not conducting yourself. You're I not, was not you're, taking You're accusing attention? us of not being respectful what? towards you, and you're literally like saying you say i can't have serious topics because of my anal slot tattoo that's what he just said and you're looking yeah, bored as you fuck think? you're okay. looking bored as fuck he made a joke <laughs> relax I oh mean, my you God. take me by my physical appearance and by my past. Maybe I respect that's why you more because of, the of your anal slut tattoo. How about that? Because <laughs> you're bold. I respect <laughs> you more. <laughs> because why? Can I add bold. input on the last comment? Which comment? I, I have, hold on, let me just read. Uh, pen maker Andrew, it's literally impossible to source baby seal remains. I checked. It's more legal than sourcing human remains. You need to choose a different material for your pen. <laughs> also, Brian, I, I admonish you for neglecting your fine writing instrument for that plasticist. Oh, I think this is a guy that okay, hooked us pen up maker, with the pen pens. Maker, pen Thank maker. you, man. Appreciate it. I'm going to let you super. pick the material, right? Whatever you think uh, fits the personality, right? I'll use it on the Crucible, I promise. Oh, okay. Thank you, Penmaker. And then we have this from Rachel. Uh, Rachel, it's just that we are tech illiterate. It's just so complicated. We just can't do it. I'm sorry, Rachel. Can I add input uh, on the comment about reporting? What, what's yeah. up? Can I add input on the comment about reporting? I think reporting sexual assault takes a lot of bravery. When you report it, the people around you can view you as low or weak. Like for men, Especially a lot of men don't report it because they feel that they're gonna look lower, they're gonna be embarrassed. Like your family's gonna view you differently. It, it's a big thing. And so it's, it's scary. It also sucks when like the person who did it is like the closest person to you in your family. Like it's hard. There's so many instances that make it difficult to report. It's hard. That's all I want to say. So I, d I don't disagree, mm. but what the commenter was saying is he's, he's alluding to a higher duty or responsibility. He's saying, look, is there, even though it's hard, yeah. even though it's rough, even though it sucks, even though it's not something you want to do, mm. right? Because after all, this is not your fault that this happened to you, right? Yeah. There's many such cases of things which are not your fault. Uh, for instance, you could be walking down the street and see a woman getting kidnapped, <laughs> right? That's not your fault. Yeah. But don't you have a duty to report it? Yes. And so but that's what... That's, a, that's not personal. That's hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, continue. Um, whether it's personal or not, I think is irrelevant. Uh -huh. We are talking about what he's saying is if you have this higher duty mm -hmm. so that you can prevent this from happening to the next person, then shouldn't you do it? Were you sexually... Did you report your sexual assault? No, <laughs> I just told you why, though. Wait, it doesn't why? matter what I would say. Wait, why? Because there, I would be laughed out of the building regardless of what I, I you said. You the police? Yeah, well, yeah, they don't care. Well, don't you care. don't know because you never tried. You're no, not going to stop that woman from assaulting people. You know what? People. That's true. If you go report <laughs> yours, I'll go report mine. I did. <laughs> Thank right. you. If, if you guys report yours, I'll go report mine. Sure. It's just hard, though, because like, some people, like they'll make threats. They're like, oh, if you say anything, like this is going to happen, mm -hmm. especially when it's family. It's hard. Hmm. I'm not sure I would, I mean, we kind of like tongue in cheek it, it was essay, it was more like, <laughs> it was more like just a freak doing weird freak shit, but, um, I, you know, I just think it's If amazing. it made you uncomfortable, then. Then I should go, re go report it? Yeah. Should she do time? I if think, think uh, do time? Well, I don't know what time would <laughs> Should be she for do that. time? <laughs> Wait, did we go all the way around the table on the like better looking in 10 years time? No. No, we stopped here. I mean. With you? Yeah. Better looking in 10 years time? I have no clue. Probably not. Okay. Yes? Yeah. So you're uh, 22, right? 21. 21. I just turned 21. Uh, so better looking at 31? Uh, yeah. I think I'll look more like, I'll fit into, uh, I'll look more sophisticated, more like grown up, more like so professional. You, you would take the genie deal? Huh? You would take the genie deal? What is that? We age you forward 10 years, but there's no negative health ramifications, you would do it? I don't know what that means. So there's, so, so if you age 10 years from now, right, mm -hmm. it's going to take X amount of days off your life, right? Because you get 10 years older. Mm hmm so let's let's pretend that we could just wave a wand. Now you're ten years ahead. But I still look the same. No, no, no. You look like you're ten years ahead, oh. but physically, you're exactly the same. You haven't lost any lifespan at all. Would you take the deal? Uh, yes, I would. You would. I could like knowledgeably and more like physically. I feel like I would look more professional, more sophisticated in what I'm doing, and what I want to do. So I would feel a lot better about myself in ten years because I'll be grown up. Okay. Yes, I think I'll look better at 31. Better looking at 41? Mm, no. 41? Yeah, I'll look, I'll 50, look good. 51? Nah, okay. I'll start at 8. What about you? 
Um, I would say yes, that I would look better. Anyways, <clears throat> like two years ago, I was really skinny. Okay, so you're 27, right? Mm -hmm. So better looking at 37? Yeah. Better looking at 47? Um, compared to 37, no. Okay, and I then were you better looking, were you better looking at 18 than you are now? No. Better looking at 18? No, better looking. Better looking now. Than I was okay. Yet. All right. Apparently aging does nothing to anybody. 